Sorry about that. Couldn't fucking find my controller. All right. Birthday stream time. Okay. No SM Smash tournament isn't going to be for like another few weeks until I can actually get um Oh, cool. Smash Tournament's not going to be for a few weeks. Um, I got to make sure that, you know, I get things together before we're running a Smash Tournament. Also, I kind of want to stream World of Light before um, I actually do, like, a Smash Bros. Tournament. Get caught up and, you know, brush up my Smash, uh, like, actual skills, because, you know. Why'd the sub counter go down? Because it went down. It hurts my soul, but it went down, and there's not much we can do about it. Other than we just keep on streaming, you know what I mean? Alright. Now, let's see here. I forget which one of these is my main file. Let's do create the future. Cause it looks like I'm in a mission on the other one. I, I have I did do another playthrough all by myself. Alright, let's see here. All right, let's see here. All right. Project Armstrong Ambassador. Not bad, but it would be nice if they actually paid me. But you've got to start somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha, all right. Let's see here. Oh, hang on. probably get a um my channel up so i can actually watch the subscriber thing in real time all right hang on a second studio all right now where is my sub count see live count put that over here in a minimized window There, okay. You're being serious? Bro, what the hell? Alright, we're set. Everything's up and running now. Alright, chat's over there. This is over here. Alright. Let's go have some fun. Level selection. All right. All right. Gotta clean up what's left. Now, what do we do first? Oh, okay. Needle drop. Curate the future. All right. Power up. Rhythm Master? I'm not too sure about that one. We'll just do very hard for now.
Yeah, we'll do this one. Very hard. All right, what a, what, what a way to dive right back in. We're just diving right back in on very hard. Jesus Christ. There's quick access back upstairs if you go down the hallway. How is it? Hang on. There's that one. All right. Hang on. I have a combo list here. And Buckler, Grand Slam, Breakdown. Mello. That's the beam one I use all the time. Then pickup crash. Yeah, I like that one. Shred. Giant tornado. Tune up. All right, we got it. Please do not make a ruckus. They will blame me for all this. All right, I'm set. All right. All right, let's do this. Okay, go straight through there. There's just a wall. <laughs> Not for long. Firmware updated. Should be good to go. Try calling in Macaron. All right. Macaron! Let me out. Get him, Macaron. Go to Ty. Macaron! Ready for this? Try this out. Cold? Um. Macaron! Gotta roll up my sleeves. Pick it up. Hey, is the old one, too. Macaroon, Am I not close enough to the wall? You got this, Mac. Hold on, Macaroon. Hey, is the old one too. Oh my God, do I actually have to restart the level? Jesus Christ, what a fucking. It's a Bethesda game, so what do you guys expect, right? There's quick access back upstairs if you go down the hallway. Okay, go straight through there. There's just a wall. 808 firmware updated. And we should be good to go. Try calling in Macaron. Get him, Macaron. You cold? Try this out. No problem, little guy. Here we go. You cold? Macaron. Ready for this? What the fuck? Is the game actually bugged? Hold it. Here we go. You cold? You got this, Mac. Gotta roll up my I'm holding it. Macaron, sock him. You got this, Mac. You cold? Get him, Macaron. Go to Ty. Macaron. Gotta roll up my sleeves. You got this, Mac. Hey, is the old one, too. What the fuck? Go to Ty. 
Oh my god. Game bug. Alright, we'll give it one more try. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Quick access back upstairs if you go down the hallway. Okay, go straight through there. There's just a wall. 808 firmware updated, and we should be good to go. Try calling in Macaron. Get up, Gold. There we go. There we go. Not bad, Macaron. First step into the wild. Cool. All right, we're back in business. See that. Now just climb it and we're back where we were. Oh yeah, I forgot for has a new outfit. Oh shit. Ooh, hey Ty. It ain't Z Shield, but I can knock that boulder out of the way for you. Imagine it's one of Zombo's secure. God, I forget how much I love this game every single time I play it. It's just all the music, the beats, just everything working together, man. locked out all employees so who has access from what i could tell only kale and the other department heads yes they're all in on this but wait corsica the head of security seems to have limited permission oh, hello why wouldn't the head of security have full access why? fuck oh god I was dying so much I'd be more too yeah it takes it takes a while for me to get back into the swing of a game that I haven't played for a while I mean that's what being a gamer grandpa will get you I mean for God's sakes I'm 27 I'm basically dead I'm basically a shuffling corpse over here Bro might die the, the, the platform making more than the bosses? Probably. There we go.
You're playing Neopress pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about. I have an idea that needs all the juice we've got. It doesn't fit in the schedule, so we're gonna have to crunch this one out. This guy, you have to fight him again. Hey, Shark, welcome to the show. Zonzo looks like he licks bass batteries. We lost subs? No, yeah, yeah. So, no Discord for you guys yet. Alright, let me give it a shot. Call me in, and I'll shadow those shields for you. Yeah, let's do it! Crap, how do I parry? Cool, I parried. Welcome back. You say so. Focus, everyone. Spectre Lab is close. Should be in the next room. Ah, it's locked. No Z shielding either. Pull a chai. Find another way in. I'll be right back. Cinnamon is trying to give me a personality test. AR Labs. Close enough, right? <laughs> Something I really like about Chai is that he's just a total, like, not techie nerd. He's a rock nerd. Oh, wait, now, Peppermint. Don't get mad. Unsympathetic? Hot headed? You don't even know me. You are only proving me correct. Come on, Chai. You can vouch for me, right? I'm staying out of this. It seems like I'm messing up my second beat more often than I'm not, which is annoying, but whatever. Hey, Stoogles! Welcome to the show. It's birthday. Did I really not get this one? Oh, I already got this one, I see. Oh, I can do this now with Corsica. Ah, nuts. There we go. Aha! Hello. Spectra Lab. All right, let's see what the deal is with these things. Whoa, check it out. The door just opened. Like it was right. expecting us. Be ready, Chai. We really don't know what to expect. Wish me luck. Let's all see right, what, this what do is we got? About. This looks like a fucking, like, dual room from, like, DMC3. Feed all enemies with a lot of time with only dodge counter.
All right. Oh, I don't have a dodge counter. Shit. Now we can do this uh, do this little test here. Alright. Let me turn down the game audio a little bit. I don't actually I actually don't know how loud it is. Oh shit. Cool guy, thanks for the happy birthday. Alright, we'll just do it this way. Is the dodge counter? What does it want from me? No idea why YouTube is recommending this to me, but I feel compelled to wish you a happy birthday. But thanks, Shed. I appreciate it. Very nice of you to drop by and say that. Alright. Alright, this one's giving me a hard time. YouTube has been recommending a lot of small channels, which is why so many are growing fast. That's good, actually. Alright, we're just gonna finish the stage. This is, this is like, harshing my mood, man. Wait a second. Chai, where are you? AI was locked, so I went in the AR room. Uh -oh. Look who the cat dragged in! This cat's with me. This is bad. You somehow got past my powerful toys without letting me watch. Unforgivable. But luckily, my AR labs are perfect for recreating All right, let's do this. Like this. Mandalay alternate reality recreation technology. Fight. Patent approved. So real, it hurts. Wow. It 
looks like I'm really there. I know. Awesome, right? <laughs> oh, uh, now, show me what I missed. Just a little extra. All right. Got him. It's too bright here. He has the advantage. Turn the lights down. Mr. Sanzo, AR recreation like this is very expensive. And with our budget. Quiet, Lackey. Just do it. Let's go. Team Ibiki! Right. Oh yeah, now we're in business. The Vart is becoming unstable! Oh yeah, that's right, this thing's called Vart! That's the projection lens. See if you can destroy it, Chai. Right, we're in business. That was a quarter of our budget. Pull in some money from the yearly bonuses, Aiden. My bonus? No. Oh. AR snails. Anyways. The programmer was right. It looks like Zonzo's burning through his budget. Sanzo's immature creative vision prevents him from seeing the realities of development. We can use this. With no budget, our development line comes to a full stop. Chai, goad him into throwing something lavish at you. Check cool. this. Now we can see Chai drain the budget in real time. Cool. Dude, how skilled is Peppermint that it takes her like 13 seconds to literally make like a graphic for Sanzo? I know the shipping war for um, Hi-Fi Rush has since sailed for a long time, but if you guys really want to know where my um, my sympathies lie, I am very much Chai and Peppermint belong to together. They're literally perfect for each other. Maybe she's using AI. Oh God, this game's all about killing AI, though. Ready for this? Get him, macaron. You cold? Lift it up. Got eyes on him. Get him, macaron. Got a roll of my face. There we go. AI, make a graphic. Uh, make a graphic about Chai destroying Zanzo's budget 30 to 30 seconds later. I'm like, I'm getting a lot done, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna make it back to my task. All right. We're good here. Ready for round two. Hell yeah. You got something new for me. You did so well in our training exercises. Let's see if we can fix it up a bit. This 
this again? Not impressed? Well, I just might have to throw in some surprises. Send him in! He's not optimized. He'll slow down the simulation. I don't care what it costs! Get him running! There we go. Cat time. Let's go. Back around. I'm pretty with the old one too. There we go. that there we go I forget how you switch your special moves Sorry, I have, I'm playing with a PS PS like gamepad instead of an Xbox gamepad. So, Zonzo, where's your epic set piece? No, you common folk don't understand quality. You just crave explosions. <laughs> if that's what you want. We're gonna teach him a lesson. Balancing creativity with realistic goals is the mark of a good leader. Clearly, Zonzo needs guidance. Oh, whoa, oh shit. Never understood Roxanne's vision for Vandalay. Because he put it along with Kale's demands as long as he got what he wanted. Glad I don't work here. So my job, my life, is ruining the company's legacy. Well, let's say we're taking this guy down. Sanzo's lab is right behind the next day already. Get ready for what's coming. There we go. Oh my god. I'll take those. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah, this room.
Okay, so from here, I believe it's the big thing. All right, hang on a second. Oh, that's how you do it. I see. Okay. Kind of wasted that battery, but whatever. All staff are on this, but the cost. Are you sure? Am I sure? I know what I want, and I don't want to hear about costs. Just turn it on. Well, that's one way to ruin your company's image. Some fun. Turn this bitch off. Actually, hang on, wait a second. Exactly, exactly, hang on a second. Let's turn streamer mode off for this and have some actual fun with this game. Oh, we're replaying, yeah, yeah. All staff are on this, but the cost, are you sure? Oh my god! I know what I want, and I don't want to hear about costs. Just turn it on! Is this epic enough for you? Chai, this is amazing! Look at that budget drain! Still want a gift basket? You bet I do! It's all yours! <laughs> Let's see Sanzo fly too close to the sun. Let's do this. Happy BB Day, Pookie. Thanks, Joe. Your cat gave birth today? How cool! How many cats? Seven? Oh, that's a lucky number. Let's do this!
Yeah, that's the thing about cats, man. They can fucking, like, go and breed, like, you know, immediately. They're nuts. Like that's the funny thing about cats is that they're they're good to breed like damn near immediately. God, I love that baseline whenever fucking Macaron punches anything. It's so good. Straight out of womb into the breeding chamber. Good Come God, on. Gel. Quality and quantity. I want this. Bigger. Almost out of budget. Is this a rhythm game? Kind of. It's a rhythm combat game made by um, an indie studio, published by Bethesda. Here I come, gift basket. Gift basket time. Want this? No. The gift basket. Uh, guys. And now I take the binding of rhythm. There you go, first player. Damn it. Team Hyper Combo finish! Here we go. Fuck. Oh shit. Okay, almost died that time.
Mr. Chai has decimated his budget. The lens chai. This is not the final boss. This is like boss three. Mind if I join in? Let's finish this. Get fucked. I've wrecked everything you threw at me. Maybe you need a crash course in better design. Ha! Well, while you've been dealing with my distractions, I've been working on a pit project. Something with unrestricted creativity. All of the JoJo poses. A mixture of spectacle and quality. Oh shit, I forgot to pour my drink. <laughs> yep. Gotta get those fucking JoJo poses in. Uh, peppermint? Prove that we're on the Is level to the nerds. It's almost gone. My masterpiece! Now everyone will see. And I am defunded. <gasps> defunded. <coughs> defunded. Don't just stand there. Finish him. Oh, right. This is all because of you. <laughs> he got canceled. <laughs> and he's dead. To Twitter with you! Yes. Huh. Enough talk. Now let's see what you have on Spectra. Okay. Zanzo would have hit any information on Spectra. It's most likely in a password protected database decrypted with a. Here it is. Right on the desktop. Oh, Fucking uh, the Zanzo uh, body pillow. Okay, let's see. God. Spectra. People who want to fuck Cognitive literally fuck themselves scare me. Regulation of mental stimuli. They plan for complete mind control, just like I thought. Great. No, bad. And Spectra seems to be approved for activation. That certainly spells. You know what sucks today? I really want to actually like show up. off the Discord server, oh, yes. like. Only but like, since we went under, bosses. like I don't know. I don't think Are we can actually have the Discord server need. now. There are six bosses and six pass keys. We've already taken down two. We still need four bosses and four pass keys. And what are we waiting for? Did Red, did Red say he gets mess. off by looking at himself in a mirror? No, he didn't. I'm talking about like the Zonzo body pillow back there, and we're in Zonzo's office. You know all about Spectra, Kale. You're not getting away with it. No one is washing. No, no, Red doesn't. Where did you get this? But you're in my facility, surrounded by security. And you. I thought we were done. Yet here you He are. did not, and I will I not inside. I will not uh, accept Why this fucking red slander. Why else would I bring you uh, can we uh, just one sorry, just take a second. You know that guy? Can we do this later? Sure, right, later. I think I know how we can escape. Really? Do you trust me? Are we actually giving them a moment, sir? Just follow me. All right. Okay, you're thinking of a different guy because I never talked about that, D. You're fucking projecting something onto me here or attributing it to another streamer because I never, ever would talk about something like that. Even if it did happen to me, why would I ever talk about something like that? What now? I assume Mr. Jai did not think past this point. You all get back to the hideout. We're not leaving you. They can't get the pass keys. No time to argue. I'll distract them. You go down, I go up. Get back in at least two pieces! I didn't know you cared. I want that defense. Get him! Let's do it!
Oh boy. This is where you run away, Mr. Chai. May need some help here. Try this out. Ready for this? Fuck. Oh boy. Imagine being a mega power guy for a guy with thousands of robots and you get beaten by a team with a guitar. Yeah. Fuck, man. Charge up the electrified wall. Close in on him. Oh boy. This is where you I got this time. They need some help here. Oh boy. We need Hibby Vicky. God, I love that move. So sick. Joy, get out of there. Let's go. Broken rails ahead. Get that magnet ready. No. Nope. Man, these guys know how to do a set piece. Uh -oh. You're not wrong, Joe. We actually are here to steal the villain's Roblox. You're not you're actually not wrong. That's basically what we're stealing. And just like that. Nailed it. Pretty rock star move, Chai. Yeah, that was the that was the thumbnail image right there. Don't try to run from us. Stealing my technology and then calling yourself a rock star? For doing what exactly? Taking you down. Is that what this looks like to you? Cause no, you don't have what it takes, kid. Only one out of four, Corsica. It's not a passing grade. Yeah, Corsica. What's up with that? It should have been me. I'll get him to talk. <laughs> when you're done, send him to me. I'll personal. It should have been me. One continue though. All right, return to hideout. I want my turn. Everyone, everyone, ask Korska very politely to choke them out. All right. All right. Costumes. All right, what do we got here for the everyone else? 808. 808 needs a costume. All right, what do we got here? Disco green, like Zonzo. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it, Corsica totally does get fucking bopped on her on her noggin like a couple times. I like to think of that as revenge. Oh yeah, full costumes. Player two set. I love this costume just because it references a very very specific timeline in video games when player two was just a, a palette swap. I also think this ragtag set's really hilarious. I'm gonna buy this eventually, but I want moves. Punk rock. God. Punk rockers were something else, man. Superhero set. Pop star. Eek. DJ. This one I kinda wanna get, but like. Oh, I kinda wanna buy this one. Superstar is also slick, too. Nah, then you can like pick your robot arm. Type two. The right tag one makes me makes him look like a Roblox character. Why are you constantly talking about like? Why are you constantly talking about Robux, man? Oh wait, actually, he kind of does look like a Robux character. The guitars, of course. All right. Let's see what else we have. Um, actually, how many do we have? We have 35. All right. So we can grab one of these costumes, which, um, hmm. Yeah, that's like that hard rock era. Fuck it. Alright, let's see here. 808 needs a costume, doesn't she? You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Also, happy birthday, Chan. Hey, thanks, Doc. What I would like for my birthday is two more subs so we can open up the Discord. Red Jean is definitely the best one there. Yeah, man. We still need two more subs just to hit 500 so we can open up the Discord. Ah, it's so painful. All right, Corsica's. Got, or, I'm sorry, um, Peppermint's got a costume. Macaron. Um, we'll get Corsica a costume next. Three day weekend. The Sheba looks more like a corgi. Oh yeah, look at that. That does look like a corgi. Sub or you're going to Colorado? Shit. Yo, cyberpunk reference! Holy shit, that is a cyberpunk reference. I just looked at her arms. Alright, um, then we got Sporty. We got Dressed Up. Oof. 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 Damn. Mm. Pinstripes, man. Damn. Alright. I'm already subscribed? Yeah. That's the problem. Uh, we still got roughly five more hours to get two more subs. I don't know. Three-day weekend looks pretty nice. Dressed up equals Corpo. Yeah. I don't know. For me, it's between Sporty and Three-Day. What do you guys think? Dressing up and sporty. Yeah, dressing up is good, but the ha I don't know. The hair's throwing me off. It's not It's not quite there for me. Sporty? I'm seeing sporties. I'm seeing more sporties. All right. Yep, okay. Everyone's, everyone wants sporty. All right. There. Now, the only one that needs a costume is Cinnamon. And, oh my god. We are absolutely getting getting cinnamon the fucking trump costume yes yes we're absolutely getting cinnamon the trump costume the macaron oh god what costume oh my god jesus christ high school you like jazz <laughs> yeah yeah we're getting him we're getting him the, ja the jazz one all right let's get back out there and um get us some more things Oh shit, none of the costumes are equipped. Hang on a second. Costumes?
There we go. It's weird that you can't just... It, it, there's a spot for full costumes, but it doesn't let you equip it like that. Weird. Oh, yeah. Karasuka all torn up. Corsica back to normal. And then... Yeah, there we go. Jazz looks like he's a blues brother. Oh, my God. Yeah, looking good. We're getting there. All right. Next mission. Gotta say, that whole saving me thing, really appreciate it. Didn't know you had that fight in you. All right. We got one more hour before we switch off to Nino Kuni, so let's see here. Let's do a. All right. Fuck it. Let's do like one of my favorite levels. Uh, take the stage. All right. So track eight and track nine, some of my favorite levels. All right. Let's do it. the spectacle <laughs> look at everyone all dressed up works and everything marketing budget now is higher than even developments what happened? i know what you mean so macaron your negativity is ruining the festive mood all right heading in all right i'm gonna play some games we'll have the most fun Try. gimmicks. All right. Be a buying the full costume is like buying all the pieces that make it up as discount, so you can mix and match. Uh, oh, I see. Right to where we need to go. So that whole thing with Corsica doesn't act. No, I skipped the, I skipped the mission where we actually um, recruited her. So yeah, because I only have another hour to play, and I kind of want to get another level in before we actually have to switch to Nino Kuni. Corsica, is the show for the audience or for Mimosa? Honestly. A winning gold engrossing cleaning. I for I am not a garbage. Cat. Sorry, please redirect yourself. Just vibe on the street with headphones and the bushes and lampposts just start jiggling. Man, I fucking wish. I wish I had like jive powers that like made the whole environment like you know jive to whatever I was fucking listening to. That'd be the best. There we go. My robot should take this if it All right, got some gears now. Almost there to the last macaron costume. If they start jiggling, you might have some other problems. The pimple about to tear you apart to the beat of the music. <laughs> I'll just hit the parry and we'll be set. What have you never have you never like command parry the command grab before? I'll just parry the I'll just parry the pitbull's command grab and I'll be fine. Down the back roots, but it's on fire. Our anti-human security. And I think this is what I come in. You're prepped, so get in there. I'll have to charge up enough energy to blow out the flames. But you've only got a few moments before it starts up again. Three, two, one, go! Let him to this. Let me try it again. Just focus. Three, two, one, go. Damn. There we go. Go on, Chai. You gotta act quick. Peppermint, this tech is amazing. Thanks. I, uh, it wasn't much. Miss Peppermint, your face is turning red. Are you having an allergy attack? Not dead, just charging. Lean B, don't touch the charging point. They're very sensitive. Alright. He 
ESA for all service workers. Memosa demands water reservoir to be converted into underground sauna by the end of the year. Let me out them. Instantly tries to attack? They're robots! They don't have feelings! Detroit become human would like to speak with me? Well, they can speak to the dead because that game fucking sucks. Look, I don't... Okay, look. That's really mean. Detroit human has its problems, but it's... No, I take it back. Detroit become human is, is not good. That may be a personal thing, but I am not... I am not, like... I am not fond of Detroit become human. Don't take him to Detroit. It's meh. Exactly, man. Like, the game's just not good. <sighs> You're supposed to be at the show. Prepare to get burned. Not cool. Putting out fires is my specialty. Figuratively and literally. All right. Missed. Missed. Ha! Ah, loser missed. Hey, wait. Come on. Come on. Looney Tunes ass anvil. I totally forgot to use my special during that thing, damn it. I really gotta get like a health booster or something. Actually, hang on, what am I on right now? I don't know, I think I'm still on hard. Pretty sure we already got this one, yeah. When I was thinking the other day of like, which, what did I want to stream for my birthday? I'm like, I want to stream video games, like games I really like. So, Hi-Fi Rush was on the list, you know. Actually, it's funny because, um, guys, if we don't get back up to 500 subs, I don't have to play Neopets Darkest Fairy tonight, which means we're playing like something else. So, yeah, that's actually kind of a real problem we have. Also, the Discord doesn't open until 500 subs either. Tell me why video games, um, video game normal difficulties nowadays are the equivalent of baby modes in older games. Yeah, like, what's with that? Like game was kind of mid anyways. Yeah. Welcome to the Vandalay Historical Museum. 
explore the journey from its humble roots to the behemoth it's become today. Oh, she did the announcements herself, too. Oh, full of herself. Well, I, for one, am very interested. Chai, that exhibit takes us to where we need to go. Head there. I'm surprised they took down Corsica's but left, like, Rekka's up, considering Rekka's, like, dead. Well, hello. Yep. Another please, but yeah, I, it seems you have the ability to put out flames with your... If you did not want my help, why did you even speak to me? God, that means we're gonna have to figure out something else to play tonight, actually. We're not streaming that. I would absolutely like to open up the Discord tonight, though, so there is there is that problem that we have. Sassy ass robot, exactly. Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, why not? Damn it. I wish video games would add dialogue if you skip through the text too fast. Like, I don't give a fuck out of the way. Exactly, man. Like, video games really need something like that. It'd be hilarious. They need they need a dedicated shut the fuck up button, like in Doom. What? You can tell it's me? Just trying to take a break. Like, games really do need, like, a dedicated, like, shut up. Fuck out of the way. Our prodigious leader. But where does the story start? Originally Vandalay Solutions, we were once a small little startup. Roxanne Vandalay, designing chips and robotics in her garage, would sell them out of her car. Not impressive, but you have to start somewhere, I suppose. Look, that is the original truck on display. They don't mention those robotics led her to solving a global energy crisis. It's almost like they're mocking her. Peppermint, let's focus. Okay, moving on. All right. There we go. So a shut up button like in Azura's Wrath? The winners of the war write the history books, unfortunately. I mean, kind of, but like Azura's Wrath is different. That, that whole game is designed around that. We're talking like, you know, something intricate. Fire squad reporting in. Stop it right there. Got him. First time I've ever ended an encounter with Guitar Ride. Vandalay grew, and in only three years, the company became the world's largest supplier of robotics. Robots that efficiently and literally made the world a better place every day. 
We were now Vandalay Technologies, but we still had a ways to go. Guitars on Devon, but it gets the job done? Days. Exactly. Everything we did felt like, well, felt like it made a difference. That's because it did. And from the outside, no one knows any better. Kale said you were dead and buried. Kale's a liar, Mimosa. Figures he'd side with him. Corsica? Ooh, what a twist. Enough theatrics! Oh, there's never enough. And I'm not going to let you ruin my performance. Oh god, the Shogun bots. <laughs> Arm triggered some lockdowns. I'll look around for another route. God, that was so fucking cool. You got this, Mac. Got him, Ty. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Hang on a second. I am going to do something real quick here. Okay, so if I do this, create post. There we go. Text model. We don't. Game the stream to birthday. Okay. Um, let me think here, because we got that. Oh, God. Oh, that's a good one. Spyro, or... I'm trying to think of another PS2 game we can throw in. No, I don't think so. What else would I want to play? No, that wouldn't be good. Um, no, can't play that either. God, no, I would not want to fucking play that with you guys. You fucking freaks would literally rip me apart. Um, okay, no, not that either. Um, hmm. I mean, I could put that on the list, but I know you fuckers would take it the wrong way, so no. Yeah, we could do a return to world, and I can just add another option. Okay, then, um, what else do I got? Yeah, we can do Pokemon stream. Add another option. Okay. Um, what would be the last one? I have to have something here I can throw in. Okay, actually, hang on. Let's let's fucking take a look at my cupboard real quick. There's gotta be something in here. Alright, um. 
fuck. Can't play that. Can't play that. Um, I could play that, but I'm not going to. Don't want to play that. Um, definitely don't want to play you. Uh, God, why did I even buy you? The game that shall not be mentioned. Why did I buy that game? Okay, um, shit. God, I still need to go back and finish 15. And that game. God, I never even touched Rage 2 after that shitty opening. Um, huh. Let's see here. Um. No, that, that takes too long. Um. No. Damn, I'm really, I'm really kind of like blanking here. Okay, hang on. Let me look at my PS2 games real quick. I have to have something in here that's good. Okay, hang on. Um, no, no. Oh god, definitely not. Oh my god, yes. Fucking yes. Holy shit. All right, people, pulls up. Go vote. Pulls, pulls up, pulls up on the community post. Go vote. Jesus Christ, go vote. Please go vote. Go vote. Oh, wrong one. Dude, dude. I, I, I found the ones, dude. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that until we get to later in the night. Alright. So far, it looks like Skyrim's pulling ahead. All right. I guess I'll suffer through Neopets' Darkest Fairy another time. Alright, that's enough for two more costumes. Oh wow, you're all fucked up. Destructibles. Why does the statue jiggle like that? I don't know, man. It's made of rubber? Oh my god, they found a way to make gold rubber. Jesus Christ. Ah, crap. I didn't know that was there. for being too dark but I think it's quite powerful they're the, ver the reverse they made rubber gold oh no or a bouncy golden ball oh my god
Alchemists were too busy trying to turn lead into gold. They didn't think of turning to I think to use rubber. I find it find it fitting because corpse are always looking to make themselves appear more than they are. All right. Hey, Sorry, Scott. I can overheat that generator model. Why would I want to do that? Watch this. You all right, Jai? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Before it cools down. Damn it! Thought I could make that. I'm gonna go for now. Have a have a happy B day. <laughs> Thanks, Jell. Thanks for dropping by. Whoops, wrong way. I was flipping through my fucking thing and I saw it and I'm. Oh, oh hang on. Talk in a second. Let's take a look here. Where are the votes at right now? No, show me the votes. Jesus Christ, everyone wants me to play Skyrim. Turn it off? Maybe temporarily. There's a generator nearby. Alright. 
Got to replace if only I had a strong Hey, is the old one too. So, uh, you don't mind if I take All right. Go. What time, of course, again? Here we go. This one. That's Hang on a second. Let's get back to the live stream so I can actually see chat. Smash his bots. Do you mind it? Mind? I'm trying to read a poll here. Shocking. No. You're finally awake. There should be four dashes because there's four beats in a measure. That makes measure. Or, that makes a lot of sense actually. The amount of times I heard to edit at my school because I'm going to electrical is painful. Oh god, I can only imagine. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There is either an altercation in Hey oh, hey oh, we got a subscriber. Ooh, baby. Cool. Um, don't know who subbed. Let's take a look here. Oh, Crusader24! Thanks for the sub, man. I really appreciate it. Really cool of you, man. All right. One more and we hit 500. Again. I hate that I had to say again. We hit it last night. What do we got? Anyways, cheers, man. I really appreciate it. All right, so we got 30,000. David's over here going about like how like you die when you're electrocuted and it's just like, okay, man. believe you guys are choosing no you know what fuck it i'm taking i'm taking this damn pull down we are not playing skyrim we are gonna suffer through well i shouldn't even say suffer we're gonna fucking hang on a second we are absolutely gonna be playing dangerous hunts you know what screw it we'll do we'll do a round robin we'll do a round robin i don't oh, know Mr. Chai, you have quite a view of the exhibit 
Cinnamon, why are you the only one enjoying this? It's exciting and educational. Hang on, let me actually remake the poll real quick. I know, I know, I'm being flip floppy over here, but just, 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 just trust me. There's a method to my madness. Okay, hang on. Let me remake these so I can I can I can so you guys understand what you're missing out on. Or we do spiral save drag. Okay. There. Pulls up. All right. A notice to all employees. The rumors about the demise of the Puffin Heads has been greatly uh, exaggerated. Uh, found you. Fire starter. What you like to see oh what my just timing was perfect there David are you still going over the intricacies of how you can die by electrocution like where is this coming from Sucks to suck, loser. Alright, yeah, there's a big arena up here. was saying something about it, so I need to clarify. You know me. Oh, God, do I know that. Bullshit. Destroyed. 
Great. Let's burn this whole place down. Peppermint, you okay? You seem more annoyed than usual. Nothing. It's stupid. Let's just get out of here. Now that you said the whole measure thing, D, you're fucking me up here. Cause now, like, I like, like, I'm li really listening to the dodges, and it does sound like there should be a fifth one. Inside check on Peppermint. Oh my god. Kale, her only child, was the obvious choice. He was as smart, if not smarter, than his brilliant mother. And oh, look at that hair. What? That's just a lie. Miss Peppermint, you are more frustrated than dealing It's with fine, Mr. though. Most people who do rock and music production Kale, don't know music theory. In peace and quiet, enjoying her retirement. Knowing What's funny though is that it's three it's three dodges in like a um in a um spectacle fighter it's usually like three dodges in like a roll. Shut it! Never. Don't worry, Chai. Mimosa's just throwing whatever she has at you. Well, I'm sure it's exciting to watch. Indeed, it is. I still find it crazy that I'm off tomorrow. Oh my god, guys! Guys, oh my god, I didn't even fucking tell you what I did for my birthday. Jesus Christ, I went to a I went to a breaker studio, dude. Holy shit! I thought that those places were scams. It's so fucking fun, dude. Oh my god, it is so much fun to go to a breaker studio. Dude, I fucking I fucking I fucking picked up a tire, man, and I slammed it into a TV that had bottles on top of it, and that shit broke like a house of cards. Yeah, smashing room. Oh my god, it was so much fun. Yeah, they're also called Breaker Studios, or at least that's what they're called around here. But yeah, dude, like, my dad fucking literally, like, I, I busted up this TV to the point where it was like, a, it was like almost like a basin shaped. And I threw a bunch of bottles in there, and I took a tire over my head, and I swung it like it was the fucking Ligarius wheel from Bloodborne. And I turned around, and my dad just has this look like, holy shit, this kid's a genius! <laughs> and, and then, like, he fucking stacked these bottles, and we did this hit where we stacked all this shit on top of each other. We both hit at the same time. Oh my god, it was so cool! Oh man, I'm actually gonna put I'm actually gonna put the videos up on my channel probably tomorrow. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing because you can see my face at certain points. But yeah, man, like it's it's the fucking best, dude. I had so much fun. On top of that, in a few weeks they're getting a car and I'm invited. I was invited because my dad apparently goes there a lot more than I thought he did. But yeah. Ah, uh, it's so much fun today. Dude, I tried to put a pipe through a TV, man. One, go! Fuck you!
Why'd y'all in sub though? Yeah, man, that's what I was talking about, dude. We're dead. We're down like we were down nearly. I don't even know how many subs we were down. We we w was the final count at 503, so that's three minus two. We're down five subs essentially, which really hurt my soul this morning. I'm really glad I went to that breaker studio, man, because like I was about to be like you know six subs down six subs yeah that was that the, the final count was 504 then damn Feet all enemies with time limit without taking any damage that's easy fuck so hard Chai, whatever you just did there i'm seeing the spectra signal becoming unscrambled what's it say we were right about a backup protocol but is it at least for an activity or something that might make sense no dude i think i think people just unsub to troll i think that's just what happened find all the hot spots before we have an answer because sm put put that put it in a discord so i imagine all the people there organized unsubbed and left or subbed then unsubbed, you know what I mean? Like that's what I think happened. Checks notes, nope, it's YouTube being brain dead as usual. Yeah. yeah. It happens. Actually, let's check the sub count right now. Yep, still at 499. I'm not too worried. We still got like four hours of streaming to get that last one. God, I'll have to give another speech. God forbid, God forbid that this one actually goes like falls through again and then I have to give another speech. God. Ah, this arena. All right, let's Shut see here. For mimosa. Oh, I doubt that. I haven't even hit the stage. Too bad you won't be able to catch the performance of a lifetime. But at least you'll get a light show. One more time. Got him! Loser! Oh crap, it's a tiger thing. Let's go. 
crap. Crap. Ah! You know what? Fuck you. Ready, hit it. Nice try, loser. Bobs. All right. You're almost there, Chai. Just open the door for us in the next room. Oh crap. There you guys go. Okay. I think the place is clear. Kale took Vandalay Technologies into the next era with his vision for the future. Brought yeah, because God. what fucking he good guy looks like that? Who poses like that? Taking the world's biggest technological empire directly into our hearts and minds. You liar. That's not what happened. Peppermint, take it easy. I feel your pain. The exhibition was not all I hoped for either. Ah, for She for did cinnamon. all the hard work. You stole it. Why do I feel more out of the loop than usual? I wanted to be my own person. I ran away from my family when I shouldn't have. I didn't know it would lead to this. Peppermint, what's wrong? Kale didn't develop all that technology. I know this because this leg, my mom made it for me. Your mom has a competing robotic limb company. No, Chai. My mom is Roxanne Vandalay. What? Which makes Kale my brother. Now this makes a lot more sense. He's always taken advantage of people, but I didn't think he'd take things this far. Lore bomb. Yep. Know what you oh God, lore headache. You think? Who cares? Did you think we wouldn't talk to you anymore? We got this far because of you. We're all here because of you. Yeah, but... And I'm here fighting because of what you found and what you're trying to stop. Not to mention Mr. Chai is the one in the most danger. Well, yeah, there's that, but that's like secondary or something. Your brother doesn't define who you are. And this doesn't change anything. Really? It only gives us a stronger reason to fight. As friends. Chai, that was beautiful, me. So, no, 808 is literally um a party? like 808 is technically um Peppermint's like stand essentially. You know, I really wanted to say that crash in the party line since we got here. But it's okay. You can have it. <laughs> All right. Literally perfect for each other. I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I when the shipping wars started, I was like, really? This is this is the direction everyone wants to go. They're like, you know what I mean? But I'm just like, you know, they really build it. Oh, hey, ass. <laughs> okay.
us telling Giovanni he doesn't need to murder anyone followed by him murdering a few more children. God damn it. You guys are never going to let Snow live this live this character down. All right. What do we got here? Holy shit, that's a lot of gears! Look at that! Yo, let's put everyone in a dumb costume! Alright, chat, we need to figure out a costume for 808. Oh shit, it's time to get onto the Nino Kuni stream! Alright. Uh, what do we think, guys? I kind of like the streetwear one. Which cat is pretty adorable. I see, I see two votes for Witch Cat. Alright. It's between Witch Cat and Streetwear. Damn. Alright, guys. Ooh. Yeah, but that's Streetwear, though. I just like the streetwear. If the streetwear had her hair down, that'd be different. I don't know. I just like Peppermint with like a full head of hair. She looks better that way. Alright. You like jazz? Alright, that's everyone in it. Oh, wait, that's right. We have to buy the Trump costume. <laughs> Alright. Sweats. Don't make a joke about the lasso. Don't make a joke about the lasso. <laughs> Whoops, 808 didn't get equipped. Alright, everyone's got a dumb costume now. Alright. <sighs> Time to get on to the next part of the birthday stream. One second. Alright, this is going to take a hot second because I actually have to wire up the fucking PS4 to actually stream this for a second. Okay, so... Where is my buttons? Okay. Found the wire. Okay, so... Okay. Um, where is... There? Alright. Use the title. Save. Yep. Sure thing. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Come on. Come on. Turn on. Do your job. Turn on. I know you can fucking hear me. Turn on. One of these days, I'll get these audio sensors working. Turn on. There. Christ. I have these audio sensors that I hooked up to some of my devices because... I thought it'd be neat to have stuff to just tell uh, tell to turn on and it turns on, but they're very sensitive. Apply percussive maintenance. Oh God, as if. All right, uh, and then I need you because that's going to not turn on to the right HDMI because you're hooked up to one right now, so I can actually edit you. So then I can edit it to. Yep, there we go. All right, so. Go into settings. Systems. HBPC. Because Sony doesn't want me pirating anything, even though they fucked over Pyrocynical. 
All right, there we go. Now, where did I put that copy of Minokuni? That's going to be the question of the hour, folks. Where is the copy of Minokuni? Oh, I found. Hey, I found Red Dead. I was wondering where that box went. Okay, that's not it. Um, where did I put it? Up here? No, that's my Ninja Scrolls box I won from a convention. Um, that's Kingdom Hearts 3. That's my Japanese um, VHS for Run 1 Half. Um, back here? No, not back here. Oh, shit. Got my ammo crossing. Alright, um, in here perhaps. No. Fuck, where did we put it? No, nope, that's Skyrim. Um, that's Pokemon. Shit, I gotta organize my shit one of these days, chat. Okay, um, uh, just hold... Oh, there it is! I found it! There you are. I saw Oliver peeking out of the side. <laughs> okay. And before you ask, chat, yes, I do have a nice bookshelf that holds all my games. I just let them go about, though. Bloodborne. All right. In you go. All right. Come here, you. Don't want to lose Bloodborne. Put you in the box. Fuck! I dropped the box. There. Okay. Da 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 da. Oof. Chair. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then you, you. Oh, shit, we're not hooked up to the right HDMI cable. Hang on. Bastard thing. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, that's going to that one. Got it. <sighs> Chat, is it working? Yes, okay, it's working now. All right, move you over. Check our subscriber numbers. We're still at 499. Oh, well. Let's check the poll, the new poll, I should say. Damn, you fuckers really want me to put. <laughs> give give dangerous hunts to a chance, chat. Trust me. It's it's really cool. You get to kill Bigfoot and shit, man. Ah, uh, people don't want to kill Bigfoot. <laughs> All right. And at any rate, the poll is up right now. So if you guys want to vote or mess around with the votes, be my guess. All right, turn you off, turn you on. He eats, he eats berries and mushrooms, not babies. Okay, good, good. Audio's working. My Elgato games are usually loud, so I'm going to turn it around. Correct. The babies is Giovanna's job. Christ. David, most of these people don't fucking play D&D &D with us. They're not going to even know what we're talking about unless we get one more sub and we open up that Discord. 
Even then, our D&D chats are private. You can only get in with the player thing. All right. Aiming for Autonoma. Castaway Cove. Yep, at level 22. That is the... That is the challenge run we're doing. We'll continue the challenge run then. Which is starting area only. Alright, so we're running with starting area familiars only. Um, yikes. Our familiar lineup looks like garbage! Oh my god! Can you make a chat D&D channel? Absolutely! Like we'll make we'll make a we'll make a D and D chat for everyone that like you know isn't like ours, but yeah. Bro said he said he was gonna make it and then went down in subs. I know, right? Hang on. Yes. My favorite glitch in the whole game is that the one chest they never fixed. All right. Let's see here. What do we got in our journal? That's the companion. Whoops. So you know how I, I like memorized everything in um. Never mind. Hang on. So we got poison pinch, sacred dagger, whalefish. All right. Let's get this all sorted real quick. No, David, can, can I want an actual not player bait like not player role D D chat for people that aren't like in D D, you know what I mean? Like we can like post weekly updates about the stories and stuff. Also, I'd like to do like um members only D D. Like that's something I want to do for membership. When I apply for membership, I wanna do like members only D D campaigns for like rewards and stuff. that you better not be messing around with those quotes I didn't give anyone permission to do that We'll see about that, D. I've been DMing since... D, I've been DMing since 2012. I've literally seen it all. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. I thought you were ta I thought you were messing with the, vo the voice channels. Also, what do we... Uh, hang on. Guys, can you do me a huge favor and give me a, um... David, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to go into the Discord server. I need you to make something called the fridge. I want it to be a a chat, right? Not a voice chat, a normal chat. It's going to be called the fridge. I need people to be able to look at it, but I need to be the only one that can post stuff to it. Please. I will award you with two inspiration if you do this for the next D&D session. Consider it done? Thank you. The Discord server is up and ready to go. We just need to hit 500 subs and I'll open it up. And because of what happened yesterday, we need to stay 500 subs for at least three days. So if we're at 500 subs by tomorrow, by when I stream tomorrow and when I finish streaming tomorrow, we will end stream tomorrow on us opening up the Discord server and you guys can flood the gates. But yeah, the Discord server is up and it's ready to go. Ice in your drink ASMR. <laughs> Alright, um, 20 in bag, juicy, iced coffee. Um, yeah, we need to continue to funnel um, Oliver's coffee addiction. Alright. God, I love this game so much! Ooh, it's my favorite! Oh, God. No ASMR, no. 700 subs, I'll do an ASMR video. No wonder he's so short. 
I feel like we make this joke every single time we fucking play this game. All right, what do we got? Um, hunk of tender beef. Yeah, we'll make a sandwich. Thanks, hang up. Dumb flounder. Thanks, what, can we, what else have we got here? Toughened armor. Piece of supple leather. Scaly shield. Uh, stripy cloak. Snakes and skulls. All right. Um, angulas. Breezy cloak. Resistances. Poison fang. Stalwart scale. Sturdy shin bones. Chocolate. Yeah, please. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> and speaking of which, I don't even have the freaking thing up. There we go. All right, now I can see my subs again. All right, let's check the poll while we're here. The poll is... God, you guys really want me to play Spyro. All right, I guess we're playing Spyro then. Look how far I can get in Spyro in two hours. I mean, that's also another childhood game of mine that I played all the time with my sister, even. All right, what the fuck are we doing here again? Next stop, Hamlin. Oh, I see. All right, let's get going. Actually, what the fuck am I doing? I have the new guide I just bought. I finally bought this thing, and I might as well fucking use it. Ugh. Okay. Let's turn this up here. Okay. Damn, this book's fucking big. And islands. Not what I want. Okay. Um, Tombstone Trail. Close. Hamlin. Mummy's Tummy. Oh god, that's right, the next thing's Tahiti. Ah, Southwest State. Alright. Let's take a look here. What are we dealing with? Okay, um... So we got Tahiti, No Longer Mine, Robinson Island, Solitary Isle, Shipwreck Shore. Okay, got it. What are we looking for here? Low Shrimp, Sacred Dagger, Shards of Fairy Chocolate, Juice Sprockets. There's a sword tooth ring just in the fucking ocean? What? Since fucking when? 43? That's on Tahiti? Man, I ought to go fuck myself. I never knew that was there. Hold on, they got angles in the fucking ocean? Damn! Well, yeah, I bought the official book. There's a fine frock in the ocean? Where? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I know I just saw that. Fine frock, fine frock. I just saw it. There it is. Okay, um, 39, 39. You're kidding. Bro, I'm about to fucking kill myself. I can't believe all this shit has been here this whole time, and I've never seen it because I never had the guide. That's, I'm mad. I am, I am viciously angry. <laughs> I almost don't want to look at this book because I feel like I'm about to, I'm about to commit Minecraft. All right. Fucking fine frock in the ocean. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Hang on. Dress covered in countless jewels, its eye-catching designs intended to inform onlookers of the wearer's wealth. Source treasure chests. Son of a bitch. Do I even have the spell to reveal it? That's the real question.
I even think we do. Hang on a second. Let's just take a look. There we go. All right. It was on that one, in between the two islands. Yes, David, I want I want regular people to be able to see the fridge. I want anyone to be able to see the fridge. I don't want anyone to be able to post in there, except for me. Because I want to regulate the fridge, because it's my fridge. You know, it's my refrigerator to put, like, you know, little things from chat, or, like, things people do up on the fridge. You know what I mean? It's kind of like um, a fan art thing. You know what I mean? But I want it to be regulated by me, or because, you know, I don't want any SF not safe for work shit in the channel. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. We do have an art room, yes, yes. We do already have an art room in the Discord server. All right. Past this island on the second island in between. Yeah, that's Minx Domain, exactly. are like one of the best better ones you can get right now you know what i mean and this one does plus 15 that's bullshit and that was just hidden under a clamshell cheat cheat goes hard you're fucking telling me oh my god who else wears clothes yin said all right I honestly cannot believe that. Alright, what's our other bounties? Starving Sea Monster. Near Robinson Island, Southeastern Summerlands. Enormous monster has been... Robinson Island is this one, I'm, I'm almost certain. Oh, there it is. Plus 15 armor this early. Good God. And to think I've gotten this far without knowing about the hidden secret bullshits. No, David, I need it to be a basic channel, not in, not in Lost Kingdom. I need it to be like part of the main channels, please. Back the fuck up there, kid. Go wild. Oh shit, he does he resists that. Fireball, motherfucker! Oh shit, he resists that too. We need a spark spell. Esther, what the fuck are you? Poison him. No effect. Crap. Oh my god. Oliver's Oliver's really the only fucking 
level guy we have right now. Oh my god. Stay healthy. Actually, hang on a second. Get a load of this! Damn it, Swain! Oh, he's not carrying anything. Alright. Looks like a melon. He really does, doesn't he? I don't have anything else to hit him with. Frostbite, maybe? No, he resists Frostbite too. Ow. I have something I can hit him with. Um, pulse again. There we go. Pulse hurts. Don't want to actually use that though. We'll be out in a second here. Oh my god. We might actually we might actually beat him. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're gonna get really close. Here we go. Oh, we got him. There we go. Sea monster slain. That thing was just chilling in the ocean. You guys pulled it out and started beating the tar out of it. Well, it shouldn't have been in my ocean. If I see it, it's I can take it. If I can take it, it belongs to me. Therefore, the ocean belongs to me. All of it. Oh, shit. That loser couldn't catch me. All right. I think I'll be referencing Piotr's um, thing for the rest of time. Hang on a second. There we go. Can't really see it too good up there. Just make it a little bigger. There we go. Oh, crap. It's a rhinosaur. Wait a minute. It's a rhinosaur. Run it. Rhodes fade, it's just a rhinosaur. No slacking you lot. Yeah, yeah, Swain. Pull your weight for once, will you? Heal me up, lady. Fifty gold coins! Jesus! So let's turn that let's turn it in that bounty. 
I imagine we'll at least get to Tahiti tonight. I mean, I got like, what? Like, an hour and a half still? No, we're not part of this village, Doc. We're actually, um... We're, we're, we're technically from the other world. Goldfish Tusk. Oh, it's a tusk. Hang on. There you go. Yeah. Do that. Invasion. This is the magic world which separated but interconnected with the real world. We're here to find our mom and defeat an evil wizard. D fucking thank good job good job on you for fucking remembering the plot of my favorite game ever. God, that's right, we never hang out. Why why do we have you? Got Babs in reserves. God. What else do we have in reserves? That's like area one that we can use. Nothing. We can use nothing here. Bye bye. Alright. Um let me see here. Twenty nine five six and we are still not ready for shadar son of a gun no d this is this is a different remember we did a full stream playthrough of this and we dropped papyrus skelly off this is the second playthrough I started. Remember doing the challenge run with only the starting area from familiars? We're doing a Route 1 challenge on this playthrough, remember? A Route 1 challenge? Like, you know, Route 1 challenge in Pokemon, where you only use the Route 1 Pokemon? Now you remember? Yeah. All right, I guess we can hang out on Robinson Island for a bit and grind. Because we're not ready for Shadar yet. We need we need all of our familiars to be at least like level 15 or something. These guys will make easy grinding. We're under attack. How's the game audio, by the way? Not too loud, not too quiet. George, Seymour, Smitey. Hey cat, welcome to the show. Yeah, we lost six subs, okay, so, yeah, yeah. Cat, we were down to four, 498, actually. Like, you know, we're actually in tragic dire straits. Actually, hang on, that's, fuck. I can't put this anywhere where it's, like, a good to see. There we go, all right. All right, let's do this. Soften him up. Crap. Come on, take out the hyper fault. You. All right, cool. Easy. Log on with different accounts. <laughs> Ain't doing alt. Yeah, that's the problem. Maybe that's why. Cause at cause last night people were talking about logging on to alts. Maybe someone reported this to YouTube and they just killed a couple because they assumed they were alts. Hang on, I got I got edit this thing now because we're doing Spyro.
There we go. Alright, that's another level for Ollie. Once the Grumper Fowls start running off, we'll be ready for Shadar. Because Shadar 1 is actually a pretty hefty wall in this game. Ah, crap. I got slept. Yeah, maybe they thought they were about accounts. That would that sucks. Rob it! Damn it, Sway! Swain! Alright, maybe the hipper foul. Swain, oh my god. I'm going to have a conniption, Swain. Oh my god. Esther, if you could not die for 20 seconds. You know, I'm done here. Oh, fucker. Hey, dog. How's it going? This is a real-time strategy game that is, um... Yeah, Studio Ghibli made this. The guy that made Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away. Studio Ghibli's company made this. But, oh, man. Oh, my God. Hang on. Let me show you guys something really fucking hilarious. So, when they were making this game... Studio Ghibli actually, like, Ghibli himself reacted to, like, some people showing his, showing off, like, animations and shit. And he had the most vicious reaction I've ever seen to something ever. Oh, my God. Give me a second. Um, Reacts to... So, they basically, they basically, like, asked Ghibli, hey, um, do you want to maybe use artificial intelligence for your thing here? We can show you some of the things for your game. You know what I mean? So, take a look at this shit, right? Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Look at the people's faces in the background. I I strongly feel this is an insult to life itself. Look at this man's face. Look at this man's face. Their whole lives are dead. These people's lives are dead. The man who created fucking Spirited Away, Cow's Moving Castle, Castle in the Sky, 
all of these great movies, fucking Boy and the Heron just destroyed everything these people have been working on for the last 10 years. Their souls have left their bodies. They are but husks, undead, lowly, lowly, unkindled ashen. <laughs> Look at this dude's face. That is a frown. Look at that dude's face. He doesn't even know what to say. It's just our experiment, though. We don't mean to do anything by showing that. Uh, yeah, I understand. So as your goal, Suzuki gets in here now. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> oh, God, look at... Look at Miyazaki's eyes! I feel like we're nearing the end of times! We humans are losing faith in ourselves. Oh, God. Anytime I need a laugh, I watch that fucking video. Every time I need a laugh, I watch that fucking video. Because, oh my god. It's so great, dude. Just like, these people are like, oh yeah, let's introduce our thing to freaking Miyazaki. The guy who notoriously hates, like, you know, non-human shit. Let's just show him our AI learning thing. And he's just like, this is an insult to life itself. We're nearing the end times. Humans are losing themselves. <laughs> like... And you can see in the background, these people are losing their souls. They're like, oh God, oh God, shut it down, shut it all down. Oh my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's not good. Um. Um. Uh, that's, that's not good. Um. Um. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, I just got copyright struck by fucking Miyazaki. I shit. Uh oh. Heads up, we've detected the uh, detected video in your stream belonging to someone else. Your stream may be temporarily blocked. If you plan to continue, please ensure that the content owner has added your channel to their allow list. Okay, we're good. We're good. The alert is gone. The alert's gone. Oh, wow. That algorithm was fucking insanely quick. That was, that was what, a, like a three minute, four minute video? That was a three, four minute video and we just got hit. Holy shit. Oh, so they have the allow list set to checks note, nobody. No, never do that again. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Never do that again. They got him in point zero zero one second. Oh shit, what a. He's <laughs> talking about Miyazaki hating video games. He fucking hit me. God damn. I don't think I deserved that. Holy shit, a Rolly. I literally just got a decent assist. 
You can say what the video says next time instead of showing it. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Jesus Christ, how do React channels get away with shit? Okay, never doing that again. No slacking, you lot. They get away with it because of money? Yeah. That's one. Esther, please! I don't want to click out of the stream. Yeah, fair enough. Ah, we can't get him. Kind of sucks. Oh well. What can I say? It's it's a gift. Do we have a meme thing on the Discord? Absolutely. What, you think I would make a Discord server without a trash can? Showing AI to Miyazaki is like showing a microwave to Gordon Ramsay. Exactly, man. Yes, but it's not open until we're at a stable 500 subs. And I mean stable. If, we, if we're at 500 subs by tomorrow, and I mean if we get tonight and we stay at 500 by the time I stream tomorrow, we open up the Discord tomorrow. There we go. Easy. Trash can is the meme channel. Yep. Okay, that's some more levels. Esther's about to level up, thank god. Yen Sid is looking good. I'm oh, sorry, Seymour. Shonks reached level 10. He needs to hit his burst at 14. Rufio! Rufio! Frank is um, looking good. That's why I told y'all to take multiple accounts. <laughs> I'm going to federal prison if I show my memes for real. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, we're still at 4.99. Dude, I thought like one or two people might unsub. I didn't expect to be back under 500. I have nuclear bomb making videos. Cripes. Alright. Soften him up. There we go. Some fish. Damn it. Blinded. Guess what? Spells spells don't roll fucking miss rolls. Bitch. Mother. Oh my god. Eat pulse, stupid lagoon! There we go. Tornado. 
Maybe. That's one of the theories, anyways, we had. Alright, Robinson Island's cleared. At the same time, alt accounts is not really how I want to get to 500. If I'm being completely honest. I'd rather get there the honest way. Hang on. Sorry about that, roommate. They are calling for someone else. I had to tell them that they weren't here. Okay. We do not talk about what's in my camera roll. Oh my god. Barbarian again. Swain, he was standing still, you fucking fool. Didn't steal nothing, damn it. I'm definitely on the FBI watch list. Ah. Oh. Gross. Okay, nice. War cry, that's for free. Okay. Fling flame, smash hit, cut loose. We can get rid of cut loose. War cry. You need a trick slot, damn it. Demon Fury, Bloody Blast. Purifying Pulse is here. Trixie Nixie. Poison Pinch. Um, I'll replace that with Whirly Gig. For now, anyways. Poison barely ever procs, anyways. Brick Shit House. Infant, Frank, Oops, Linstone. Oh, here it is, Linstone. Um, let's do Nuku as well. Ear Splitter is fine for now because that's high physical. And you don't get Rolly Soul until 25. Okay. Sitching on your fr on yourself doesn't help, Cat. <laughs> I may or may not have done some related searches to Discord sizing and strength for how to breach a door Lamau. <laughs> Best part of the teacher legit approved the paper. Wow. I had I had to um do a bunch of like overhead shit back when I was in high school because I had to do a um I had to do a report like a literal news report about um school shootings so i had to call the I, they literally forced me to go to my local police police precinct and tell them i am not going to do any sh shootings i am just searching things related to school shootings just for a school assignment We're under attack. oh it's a two -hoo. It's a rare spawn. And it's dead. Oh, 
Yep, too bad we're doing a Route, route 1 challenge. Can you imagine if there was shiny, if there was shiny fucking um, familiars in this game on a on a Route One challenge? All right. The English teacher was the goat. Some of the things I wrote on a paper went unhinged. Damn. I did. I saw a rat in my school restroom. Bro, where'd you go to school, Jamaji? Damn, I drank all my drink. There's no drink left. I lied. There's a rat in our algorithm? For real, dude. Sylvester Crystal! <laughs> dude, I just discovered the Sylvester Crystal meme like yesterday, and that shit's funny. <laughs> The fact that they interwove a fucking beer commercial into the Star Wars stuff is hilarious. I ran out of coffee too, so I gotta wait till I get home for more drink. Dang. Water here at the office is terrible. Well, yeah, it's office water. It's meant to keep you hydrated and nothing else. Damn, is one of those fucking things sneaking onto the... What the hell? Never seen that before. Oh, auditorium. I thought you said algorithm. Christ. You're under arrest. Damn it, Swain. We did it. That plays the Sylvester Crystal thing when you throw Maltov. Oh my god, yes. Alright. No, hang on. I'll take you on. I guess this is where two who's are. Stay calm now. Wait, are you second metamorphosis or is this first? This is probably first metamorphosis two who's. I, I might be thinking of a different area. There's a different area where like um a higher metamorphosis like uh what level like hangs out. again. Alright, that'll do. There we go. Alright, let's head back to town and heal up real quick. Twenty 
23, 23, 21. Absolutely, Esther is not surviving Shadar 1. She is going to bip it right then and there, right when Shadar appears. I know it. I can already feel it in my ass. Here goes nothing. Crap! Motherfucker, cast it right away! There we go. Swain! Alright. Have me do this the hard way. Crap. Thank you, son of a bitch. There. Leave. Let's head back to shore. It's kind of like the bad part about every JRPG is just the grinding. As much as I do love this game, the grinding, like, and, you know, the wall, specific walls in this game, they hit you hard, man. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Alright, here we go. All right, so 23, 23, 21. It's about it's four or five more fights again. They're level on Oliver. And you can level up a one with them. A thousand levels for the next level for Sprout Sprite. And you are nowhere near ready for the fight because your attack stat's so fucking low. The attack stat's actually not that bad, to tell you the truth. Hang on a second. Jar of Bumbler Honey. Give me a plan. Hmm. Salted ice cream. Ice cream bunch of booster shoots. Sweetie pie. Sour Sunday. Hmm. Magic defense. Magical attack. A lot of carrot cakes. Yes, sir. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see what's up. Yes, okay, give me a plan. Milk chocolate. Yep, alright, hang on a second. We need to boost um, our lemur friend's attack, so we're gonna need a lot of chocolate here. Right, let me see here, what do you got for... A bunch of carrots. Multiple of 
Room 9. There we go. Yogurt, three bag, glow shrimp. Six of these. Help. Bars of chocolate. All right. Um, increase attack on HP are full. Fire patch, resistance, fire, plus three magic. All right. Um, sea breeze. Iron shield. Breastplates. Weapon wise. Uh, could you have a rock feather? Big Iron Pike. Equipped, equipped. Alright. It's plus 15 magic. Might as well buy another one of these, but I don't want to. Iron Axe on... Actually, that might not be a bad idea. And Creed just boost his fucking accuracy. It's a thousand gold. We can probably make a better axe later. Yeah, we'll find a better one in the Fairy Ground anyways. We might as well just, like, wait. We don't need to beat Shadar, we just need to kick his kick his ass hard enough to let, let us get to Tahiti. And then we can just load up on good items there. So we don't want to spend all of our money here. Alright, creamy milk and bumbler honey. Oh, that's all the way back in Alma Moon. Fine. And the cat's dead. What can I say? It's okay. Probably not even gonna pick any more fights while we're over here. Like, there's no reason to. Yep, people are running away from us. There's no need to pick any fights then. Ugh. If only you could get up there. That'd be a perfect grinding spot. Cheddar Queen. Oh, right, right. The Al, uh, the Kawifa. <laughs> All right. No, don't need here. I need a Hutique. Got the Swift Solutions. Hutique's right on our left here. There we go. Actually, I don't think I've actually looked at the fridge yet. Let's see if it's actually good. Let's see here. Well done, David. You really earned that inspiration. Yep, everything looks looks good. Well done, David. 
I'll start posting some of the um fridge um snippets that I have right now, like later tonight. Oh, Doc messaged me. Incorrect quote generator. All right, let's take a look at this fucking thing while we're here. Safe for work only. This is your daily reminder. To, uh, okay, whatever. Um, both shipping and non-shipping. The fuck? Generate quote. This thing looks fucking lame. Alright. No, no. Doc sent me a thing about, um... Yeah. Oh my god, was Isaiah- Isaiah was trying to fucking- Yelois, our mysterious benefactor, this motherfucker's trying to send me a goddamn body pillow. This motherfucker. Oh no. Oh god. I don't know. I don't know. Hang on. Let's 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 ask him. Let's ask him real quick. Of who? Watch him say something fucked up like the moon presence. Like the moon presence from fucking Bloodborne or whatever. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, what the fuck? Milk! Oh, we need caramels, damn it! Oh, well, we might as well buy these while we're here. Jesus Christ, fucking... That much? Fine. For ten, you fuckers. Overcharging for milk again. Dark Souls. Actually, I've never played it. Really? You've never played Dark Souls? Like, ever? Damn. All Soulsborne's games are hard. Yeah, as I'm well sure that you guys saw with Lawrence using me as a mop for a minute there. Alright, we got the milk. Which means we need Bumbler Honey. That's in Ding Dong Dell. Ugh, I don't want to go all the way back to Ding Dong Dell. That's going to take hours. SM, you're 13? Damn. I kind of thought my viewer base was older. Like, me. Shit. I had to watch my, um, what I say or else Grandpa will be a bad influence on you. Damn. I thought my viewer base was older. Shit. Wow, I really am Gamer Grandpa then, aren't I? I'm here for the funny. Well, I hope to I hope to deliver. Come on. All right, grandpa, let's get you back to the nursing home. I can also step in as a grandpa if needs be. Wow. Shady Tree Nursing Home. Oh my god. I 
don't know why, but just what, 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 when I heard Shady Tree nur Nursing Home, for some reason the first thing that popped into my mind was um was that fucking thing from that Nickelodeon show. I don't even know what it's called, but these two kids is like he can't see you know what that means and it's like time to abuse the disabled or some shit and i don't know why but that was the first thing that popped in my head it's time to, it's time to abuse the disabled oh god if your birth date starts on the 19 you're kind of old yeah yeah same Yeah, I don't know the name of this show, but it's just like, they're just like, this guy can't see. You know what that means? And then it just cuts to this fucking thing. It's like, it's time to abuse the disabled. <laughs> well, D, if you were born in the 1900s, like, you know, you're just old in general. Me included, specifically. I didn't choose to be old, I was born old. strong coffee good that's one less thing we have to buy all right let's see here instead of being in the womb in 2008 I should have invested in Bitcoin hang on I gotta send you something Got too close to Hamlin. Oh damn! I forgot about fucking Shadar. Here we go. Miss perfect. Yeah. Got him. Oh, that's not where? There you are. Fireball! Swain, don't die. Oh my god, Swain, stop dying. even plays League of Legends anymore. Are they still updating League of Legends? Like, seriously. It died like Apex? Damn. Dude, I don't even want to fucking talk about how much money I might have spent on League. I think it's something like 240 bucks at my, at my last count. Died like Overwatch? Damn. Silence, I don't want to feel like I, I'm old. David, I hate to break it to you, you're 22, 23 years old. You are old. We were there at League's inception. I was there when, before the re got the the, the re... The fucking rift got a facelift. Check 
checks notes. I spent way too much money on League. God dang. 23 is pretty young. Not in video game years. Video game years, that's ancient. I'm half Chan's age. Oh, God, no. All right, let's get the honey and bounce. Fuck me. All of this just to get uh, like our lemur set for the battle. If it helps, I'm older than both of you put together. Oh, wow, that's wild. Wait a minute, hang on. No, that means, that means Shep is older than, hang on. David's 23, I'm 27. So, that means he's older than 50. You're above 50? I think this YouTube account is older than SM. Wow. What a, what a fucking wow. Oh wait, no, you uh, you and SM forty one. Oh, okay, I see. I was about to say, man, like, dude, jeez, Louise. Still need a scale for you, a helmet for you. You're not ready to metamorphose until you're at least four or five levels past twenty. All right. I still don't know which one to evolve him into, a Thunder Bride or a um, Fire Bride. Where's the Hootique? We pe Wait, did we? No, it's over there. We're gonna have to sell some stuff here because we're actually kind of low on cash at the moment. Yeah, literally a pain in the butt. My sister had this crazy ass mini rota rot rotate rot rotary phone that actually like mini would talk and say who was calling. It was wild. Bumbler, honey. There. Fuck. Yo, Alchemy, make my shit. Well, dang it. Here, eat this chocolate. Chan, can we have like story time? Story time of the good old days? <sighs> okay, fine. What do you guys? All right, gather, gather around, Grampy kids. What do you want to hear about? You guys want to hear about fucking the Space World Zelda thing? I can tell you guys about um when Twilight Princess first dropped. No, I refuse to talk about Karens. Fuck them. Oh, 
Oh my god, shut. You guys are sometimes, I swear to god. What was the craziest thing your sister has ever done? Jesus Christ! Okay. My sister sometimes watches my VODs, so I need to be very careful about what I say. And there is a story I have about my sister that she will literally murder me if I ever tell it on my YouTube channel. So back in the 40s, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh God, I, I think she would come home and literally shoot me with a gun if I ever told that story on fucking YouTube, dude. 40s is insane. Oh, God. Tell on Discord when it drops? Well, no. No. That is a, um, like, close family story only. Like, I haven't even told her husband yet. Like, I haven't even told him yet. And, you know, could, she's always... She actually did this thing where she's always super hyper monitor, monitoring whenever I'm with her husband. Because she does not want me to tell that story. So anytime she's over to visit, she's always next to him. She's always making, keeping tabs where I am. She never lets me have, like, any time alone with any of his family. Because she's terrified I'll tell that story. Even though I told her I wouldn't. It's not bad. His family is super Christian. So she thinks that they're gonna fucking... Like, she thinks that she, they'll fucking disown her and divorce her the second you know they hear it because you know that's just how my sister thinks sometimes but yeah it's not really that bad it's actually worse for my part because of how it happened but like you know like I'll tell that story one day hey one million subs and I'll tell the story how about that No, no, my sister smoked weed once and she tried to hide it in my room. I can, I can, I can, I can tell that story easily because that, that's actually less worse than what she did. Guy, I love how Hurly Burly just fucking throws like a haymaker every now and then. Yep. What's bullshit about the weed thing is she smoked the weed in my room and then she tried to pass it off like, oh, that's just, that's just my room smells. And like, I was so fucking pissed that she tried to abuse my room and oh, it's, it's his room smells, therefore it's safe to smoke weed in there. Like, like people wouldn't fucking guess, you know what I mean? Or like, you know, my grandmother wouldn't know that she was the one smoking in my room. Of course, that was ages ago when she was a dumb teenager. You know what I mean? We were all dumb teenagers once. We all did stupid shit. You know, so I can't put it past her. I did some stupid illegal shit back in my day, too. Like, let me tell you guys the story about how I fucking, um... Like, I I've told you guys about how I used to, like, run with a crowd. You know what I mean? Not that crowd, but a crowd. You know what I mean? So, like... Um, I knew this dude named Ambush. No shit, his name was Ambush. And that was back when I was in my skater phase. I had this, um, I had this cobbled together BMX bike that was kind of a piece of shit. Oh yeah, you were a skater? Yeah, yeah. Well, not a skater, but I was part of that, that, that culture, man. The guy from Doors? I don't even know what the fuck that means. But, um... Basically, I had a cobbled together BMX bike. I was a biker. You know what I mean? 
No, I didn't tag people, D. I tagged fucking, like, I tagged fast food posters. Things they could easily replace. I wasn't that much of an asshole. Regardless. Anyways, back to my initial point. So, I ran with this dude named Ambush, and we had a little group together. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say a gang, because we weren't like a bunch of hoodlums. We were just, you know, we were a bunch of fucking troublemakers. You know what I mean? We would go around getting into, tr into like, you know, harmless pranks. Like, back when pranks were real pranks. You know what I mean? Like, actually, you know, me genuinely messing with people. Oh, shit. Damn it. Here goes nothing. Oh shit, we need to go. Hurry! Mischief, exactly. So we would do things like, you know, get onto roofs, you know, go to building to building, you know what I mean? Get up to maintenance areas, we'd go into construction sites at night, you know what I mean? We just did teen shit, you know what I mean? We had, there was this construction site that was, like, up for, like, damn near, like, four years. We call it the Boneyard. And that's just where we'd hang out, like, after school. We'd go to the Boneyard, we'd hang out for an hour, head home, like, you know, be back before the streetlights come on. That was life. You know what I mean? But, anyways, Ambush had this brilliant fucking idea. Let's build a car. And... Yeah, we were dumb kids. We were like, yeah, let's build a car. It's not illegal. Because Ambush knew a guy. That his Basically, his dad was friends with the guy who owned the local scrapyard, right? So, um, like, basically, you know, his, his father knew, like, was personal good friends with the guy that owned the scrapyard. So, Ambush would just, like, you know, go through, like, these scrap cars, rip parts out, rip axles out, catalytic converters, you know, other things like that, right? And from there, he started getting this wild idea. Let's build a buggy. You know what I mean? And sure enough, this motherfucker, this absolute mad lad, it started to come together. Like, no shit, it actually started to come together. So, you know, we started going, instead of to the Boneyard, we went over to Ambush's house. Also, before you ask, no, I never knew his real name. That's all I ever knew him by. Because when you ran in groups like that, you knew people by their street names. That's just it. You know what I mean? But, yeah, so, um... Where was I? Okay, so... Um... We got together, and we started building it, right? First, we got the tires, we got the frame, we got an engine we ripped out from God knows where. It was missing cylinders, but it still fired, you know what I mean? I think it was from a London taxi, if I'm being completely honest, but, you know, I was never proven otherwise. It was never proven what the engine was from. But it was missing two cylinders. So, yeah. Two cylinders off a of V8. But regardless. Don't know why I told you that. So, we built the buggy. And it was a piece of shit. But it ran. It fired and we got it working. And, yeah. It could go. So, <laughs> on its inaugural run, we fucking... Drove that bitch down a huge hill that, um, was by Ambush's house, right? And couldn't even imagine doing that. Dude, that was just life before fucking TikTok and, um, that was life before TikTok and social media. This is just what we did for fun. We got together and we built a car as miners. We were all miners when we did this. But crashed? No. Um... So, as we're rolling down the hill, going, and as the gas is firing and the cylinders are running on a, a, on a V8 that's running on a, on a six cylinders, everything was going good. We got to the bottom of the hill, and then the engine blew up. And I'm not saying it blew up. I'm saying it blew up 
violently. It blew up and it launched itself about 20 to 30 feet off to the right. Where did you find it in V8? It was just scrap. You know what I mean? But, but, um, holy shit. <laughs> While I'm telling this legendary story, we just hit 500. Holy shit. What a fucking, what a fucking way to, to, to bring this up. Oh my god. Alright, so I guess I'll finish telling this story. Um, yeah. So, basically, um, that's worse. Oh, oh, it gets worse than that. So, it blows itself and launches itself about 8, to, uh, sorry, 20 to 30 feet off of the car into someone's yard. Right? And... The rest of the car is now on fire. It hit the house, didn't it? No, but it broke some lawn gnomes. Yeah, the car was on fire because an explosion just happened. There was a fire pit in the center of the car. And when you're a group of adolescents, and you guys are in the deepest shit you've ever been in in the ever life, no words need to be said. Everyone just fucking scatters. So we, I, 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 all I remember is all hell breaking loose. This great hellfire of a noise breaking out, and I saw the engine fly through the air, go into someone's yawn, and basically roll and hit the freaking thing. Scatter, scatter, bitches, exactly. So I'm running for my life. A young 14 year old kid is running for his life down the street with the rest of his friends hoping to god that explosion didn't alert any nearby cops so we're running we're praying to god that we didn't you know get in trouble and um sure enough no less than i i think we were running for maybe two minutes and we heard police sirens so we jumped into a hedge and we just hid inside that hedge and um we hid there for god probably 10 15 minutes it felt like an eternity it might have been way way shorter and then fucking ambush grabs and he's like come on let's go let's go kid so we just started running i was 14 but um we just started running and you know we're sprinting we're sprinting and you know then i turn i, I just remember turning because i don't i don't remember why i turned but i remember turning to my left and i had this brilliant idea where i was like Yo, school! Because school wasn't too far from this huge um, hill that we went to, right? So we run into school and we slam the doors behind us. And we head to gym because they had the gyms open after school for a bit. Because uh, like they had this open gym thing for school. And we go there, right? <laughs> Sub 500 is that cop he's been chasing you ever since. <laughs> Oh my god, if only. Maybe it's ambush. God. I never... But anyways, um, that's the first place they would check. I know. we were. F I was 14. Ambush was 17. Give me a break, D. But anyways. So we're sitting there. Open gym. We're trying to get our story straight. And um, nothing happens. Thank God nothing happens that night, right? And I go home. Mom's like, oh, did you did you have fun with Ambush and all your friends? Because my mom was super, like, you know, just supportive of me having fun. Because, you know, high-functioning autistic. You know what I mean? She was just happy that I was out with a group of friends. You know what I mean? But, anyways, I was like, yeah, we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And, um, my mom's like, oh, why do you still smell like car oil? And I was like, oh, shit, I do smell like car oil. And I was like, oh, yeah, I was, I was at the, I was at the scrapyard with, um, with ambush again and you know we um we um yeah i got dirty and then so that was a shower for me and you know i'm sitting there having fish sticks and, ch and ketchup best fucking meal of my life is the was those fish sticks and french fries man like it felt like victory after evading the police and everything was fine everything was beautiful until Until the next morning. Um. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh. 
Um, they tasted like freedom. As a person on the spectrum, that's the most autistic meal possible. There's nothing wrong with fish sticks and french fries. Screw you guys. It's fish and crisps. That's all it is. I watched, I, I liked, I liked Tom's Tank Engine a lot, so I liked fish and crisps, fish and chips. And that's just what it was. It's, it was just, you know. I was, I was, I was 14. I'm talking to SM. SM said, ew, fish sticks. Oh, you've never had a... Wait, 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 wait. So, okay, let me explain to you. These aren't just fish sticks out of a box. These were like, you know, cuts of fish, hand-breaded and fried and, and seared in like a frying pan. Like, these were like good-ass, like, breaded fish fish sticks. You know what I mean? This, these weren't like school-ass fish sticks. No, these were, these were actual, like, you know, lightly breaded fish fillets. And they were delicious. And then hey, we had steaks like um like Cajun spiced steak fries. It was a meal of champions. Pardon me. Anyways, so the next day, retribution happens. Um. <laughs> so, oh god. So, oh god. Um. The school newspaper the next day reports that no, they didn't find me. The school newspaper the next day reports that an abandoned car was found on fire by the big hill near our school. I was ready to die. Like, no shit. I was freaking out like oh no oh no they found it as if they wouldn't find the flaming fucking car right now i know what you're thinking how are we not seen on cctv well that's because this was a type of this was a time before cctv's like you know was a thing and everywhere but yeah so i'm sitting there barbecue sauce on my titties no not really um <laughs> So I'm sitting there, and I'm staring at the school newspaper, shitting myself. You know what I mean? Until I talk to one of the teachers about it, because I'm like, "Oh, d is that in the newspaper?" And because I was like, "If it's a, if it's in school newspaper, that's one thing. If it's in the news newspaper, I'm fucked." Thankfully, it wasn't. And it just sort of vanished into the background. You know what I mean? And uh, that's where it all sort of... You know what I mean? That's just where it's all sort of ended. Never, never, ever has that come back to haunt me. And it was just some crazy wild thing we did when we were 14. Back when we were, kids were allowed to do stupid, dumb crap like that. You know what I mean? Dude, they had pictures, man. But here's the problem about that. The newspaper he was reading was a fucking racing newspaper. It was in the newspaper. And I didn't learn about that until that following Sunday when I went to see my grandparents. And what's worse is my grandfather said when looking at that paper if I ever find the damn kids that did this I'm gonna skin their hide how could they possibly do something that stupid and irresponsible and I was just thinking ah, no oh god oh and here's why that's worse my grandfather was a navy man who made it through Nam. So, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was dead on the spot, man. But that's the worst it got. That's the worst it got. So, yeah. That is the great story of my youth. That's the craziest thing I've done ever, period. Ah, oh, God. What a time to be alive, man. 
Ugh. My grandfather served on the Benham Man. Aiming for Autonoma. I just pried. I was just about to press the dash button like I was playing fucking Hi-Fi Rush. That would just open the map button. We spent spent seven minutes with story time. Yippee! Well, you guys want story time? Well, there you go, story time. But yeah, that's that's the difference between like how things were back then and how things are now. Like literally, that's that's what teenagers got up to back in the day. What do you guys do? Eh, you hang around on frickin' um, you know, Instagram and TikTok, and you share mind-numbing content that means nothing. Sit at home. If it were now, we would all be arrested. Oh, absolutely! If it was now, we would all be arrested. You could not get away with that shit, man. Here we are. Yep, here we are. But still, Gamer Grandpa's always gonna be here to, you know, tell you funny stories. You can live vicariously through me, I guess. Ah, shit, it's an airhead. Fancy your chances, do you? Damn it! He wasn't in range. You need to get rid of that who right? No, yeah, the airhead. Get rid of him. Good crit. Splisher. Stop hurting Esther, please! Get out of here! I can't tame you! Is that it? I used to have a cart that would go like 20 miles per hour I would play with. We climbed parking structures and stuff, like parkour, but less fancy. Dude, we used to do the same shit. Dude, one time we actually went into the boneyard and they had a fucking digger there. And we legit turned the digger on and we we actually used it for a little bit and we ran like we were we were honestly scared of like you know the digger fucking you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah it was a silly thing no s do i have to give another speech now that i've hit 500 for the second time or um Digger, don't say it, buddy. That's what it's called. It, it, you know what I'm talking about. Those, like, crane things that have the, the, the bucket on the front with the teeth. You know what I mean? That's what they're called, right? Or excavator, I guess. Excavator, if you really want to be, you know, pedantic about it. Sounds like what? Slacking you lot. Sounds like what? Sounds like what? The end. Oh! Oh shit! What can I say? It's a good. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Why would you put the? Why would you even say that? Why would you- why would you even try and make that connection? <laughs> Honestly, I think- I think a speech every time you would up slash down a level is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Besides, I gave a killer speech the first time we hit it, so I don't feel like I have to say it again. You know what I mean? That bot is still up. We can just replay it. Actually, fuck it. We'll- we'll literally just replay the first couple minutes of it. <laughs>
Because they rhyme? Rhyming isn't fucking racism! What are you talking about? Look, if I say lick, is that supposed to be racist? No! If I say link, is that supposed to be racist? No! Y'all, y'all 7th and 8th graders can't go two minutes without a racial slur. Exactly. It is close to a racial slur! You just don't know them! Back when people were actually racist! Like, I got called derogatory- I got called a derogatory redskin once, dude. Like, I've seen actual racism. No, that's crazy? Well, guess what? That's reality. Your guy's like, uh, Digger's too close. It's just like, dude, you have no fucking idea. Like, back in- Like, a another thing, I have seen people drop some proper, proper fucking, like, you know, oh shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, dude, you have no fucking idea. Dearest, what the hell are you guys talking about? Grandpa having to scold his grandkids over here. I wonder if we're strong enough to actually take on some of the familiars in this island. Well, we're about to see. Most of them resist physical, so this is either gonna go where it Microaggressions got nothing on plain old aggression. Exactly, dude. Back in the day when they wouldn't even make fun of you, they just beat your ass. Dude, I've got I got my ass into a couple fights in school. I've been on the receiving end of a couple fights, and I've also been on the receiving e I've been also on the giving end of a couple fights, man. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, we need to run away. Uh-oh. I have a whip app on my phone? Good god. Dude, I once literally tore open a kid's neck. And I'm not not in like the exaggerating like, oh, I, I ripped this kid's ribcage off. No, I literally sliced his neck open with my hands by accident. Like, you know, we tried to kill each other back in the day. Okay, so are we just admitting crimes today? Well, no, it wasn't. It was on the schoolyard. We were, I was even younger then. You know what I mean? That was back, Christ. I think I was like, I think I was 11 when that happened. Hey, hang on. So, da, 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 da. Christ, I might have been nine. Oh, God, was I nine when I died? I... Fuck, I might have been nine. Yeah, I think I was either nine or eleven when I sliced that kid's open that kid's neck open. It was the back of his neck anyways. It wasn't like his 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 throat, but like yeah. So there was this kid that liked to fucking harass all the um special needs kids, me included. And I got So a thing about special needs kids is when you're young, um kid was maiming at an advanced level. Well, this kid deserved it, to be honest. So basically, he would like to harass all the special needs kids, me included. And one day, I got pushed down in the dirt by this kid, and it got all muddy, and I wasn't allowed to be in the school with these muddy clothes, right? So they forced me to change into a set of clothes they had, and I didn't want to change into the clothes because they weren't mine, and I didn't want to change into them, because they, they, they weren't my clothes. You know what I mean? It's just a dumb thing. It's like, well, if their school's giving you a pair of clothes to change into, why not change into them? That's the thing. Sometimes younger kids, especially, you know, when they don't know how to control their stuff like that, they freak out about that kind of thing. Like, I was kind of doing it. Eventually, they convinced me, but it didn't feel comfortable. 
this kid then pushed me in the mud again, and I lost it. I ran his ass down, I jumped him, I grabbed onto him, and I just started swinging. Eventually, I just dug my hand to the back of my the back of his neck because I wasn't. He was trying to jump me off because I jumped it from behind, right? And I just dug my hand to the back of his neck. I was holding on for dear life. Eventually, I guess my nails hooked under his skin, and when he finally came off, I guess I just tore some of the skin off with my nails. So he was bleeding heavily from the back of his neck. So that was a trip to the principal's office for me. Except my specialist stepped in and stopped us from going to the, um, stopped us from going to the principal's office. And I got probably the biggest dressing down I'd ever received in my life that day. So my specialist was just, I've never seen someone get so just disappointed in someone else. You know what I mean? But then again, what the hell were they doing about it? I was getting my ass bullied by this kid. He was bullying all the other special needs kids. What the hell were they doing about it? You know what I mean? Nothing. I was handling it. So. Yeah. I had to basically apologize, do all this bullshit to this dumb kid that did that deserved what happened to him. You know what I mean? Then afterwards, whatever, you know what I mean? But that kid never bothered me ever again. He never bothered any of us ever again. I wasn't scared of that kid. I wasn't scared of what that kid might do in retaliation. You know, I did what I needed to do. And the only reason I jumped him is because he, he fucking pushed me in the mud again. Because I knew that meant another change of clothes. And I was like, no. And I was like, if I have to change, I'm going to lose it. And I lost it. Kid's fault. You know what I mean? That's what he gets for, for pushing, pushing people like us around. I thought my parents were going to be furious, though. Fancy your chances, do you? But anyways, so basically, I get home. I'm expecting my parents to ground me, to punish me. I'm never going to see the light of day again. And for the first time in my life, my dad was genuinely proud of me. My dad, well, they've been proud of me before, but my dad's kind of a... My dad can be a bit difficult sometimes. He's doing his best now, but when I was growing up, he was really not ready for a, to try and raise a kid with autism. Then again, autism was still pretty new then, and specialists were few and far in between, but yeah. Basically, my mom and dad were proud of me for standing up, to my, up for myself. My mom's Hispanic and native, so, you know, uh, defending yourself is all, like, you know, everything to them. You know what I mean? Stand your ground no matter what. We learned that through Oneida Nation program. And, you know, my dad was proud because I also stood up for myself. And, you know, my, like, they, they knew I was under great physical distress. You know what I mean? So I wasn't punished for it. But that was just, you know, that was just how things went. Ugh, God, all these memories. Christ. Alright. That is... Jesus, we spent all this on story time. Alright. I'm gonna take, like, a 20... Let's say 15, 20 minute break. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go call my mother, because, you know, my mother probably wants to talk to me for... Happy birthday and whatnot. And um, I will be back with Spyro. Okay? 
So just give me one second, guys. Let me just get to the get here and save. Okay. Man, this trip down memory lane has been wild. There was the good times, there was the bad times. Things really picked up for me once I was in uh, you know, once I was in um middle school, man. Elementary school was kind of a mixed bag, but middle school, man, those are some of the greatest things in my life, dude. Man, that was that was that was just that was just, you know, if I could ever choose one point in my life where school was great for me, it was middle school. Side that other shit, kid, but, you know, that's a story for another day. His ass got beat. He got beaten to a pulp. You know what I mean? My sister basically had a mafia in um, high school, and this kid had been terrorizing me for a few years, and one year he pushed it too far in high school, and my sister literally sent a bunch of kids to go beat his ass, and he never bothered me ever again. Three, she sent three dudes to beat his ass, and he got beaten to a pulp, and he never bothered me again. Ugh. Deserved. Deserved. Everybody who ever tried to fuck it, like, you know, my sis, th th that's what I mean. Hispanics and natives, we don't fuck around. If you're, if you're bullying someone in our family, we fucking, like, it's on site. It's still on site for that kid. It was, actually, what's crazier than that? Is when my sister graduated high school, he thought he was safe. My sister sent them back to intimidate him after she graduated because she wanted to remind him, it's on site. You fuck with him, it's on site. We take care of each other in this family. You know what I mean? <laughs> God. My sister's awesome, man. Ah, oh, God, I miss her dearly. I'm glad she's happy with her, with her new life in uh, Colorado. Anyways, I'll be right back, guys. Gonna go to the bathroom. BRB. Ten. Whoops. Not that one. Not that one. Twenty-five. M Central. Done. All right, I will. I'll tell. I'll tell you guys. Chat said hi.
ha ba 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 Welcome back. Alright, let's check out this, um... This thing here. Let's see here. Oh, shit! Six votes and Dangerous Hunts won. We're not doing Spyro tonight. Oh, shit. Hang on. Okay, I guess I have to get the PS2 back in, up and running. All right, one minute, guys. Okay. Uh, be right back. Okay. It's Bigfoot season, boys. All right. Let's get to work here. Um. Uh, where is this? There it is. Turn you off. And leave you there. All right. Box, box. Where is the box? I need the box, or else I'm going to. Uh, some, some other word that rhymes with box. No! That's on. Okay. Now then. Where is Z? Oh, fuck me. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, not there. Um, this button. Here. Yes. Give me you. Did I put the, uh, ah, here you are, right where I left you. Oh, back when games used to be chunky. Okay, put you right there. Uh, close. Ah, damn the thing, you, you vexing, vile creature, you, you dare, dare defy me. Me, your master, your progenitor. Oh, you will suffer for this indignity, you vile whore. Now, take the disc. Yes, as your intended features. Sixty-nine views. Good. Just as intended. <laughs> the medic Palpatine. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of go from medic to Palpatine there, didn't I? Christ, these old PS2 games, man. I swear to God, I'm terrified of them crashing on me. Oh, God. Cabela's most dangerous hunts, too. Oh, wow, that fucking... 
Oh my. Oh. Jesus. That fucking nostalgia, man. Oh, fuck, dude. Try loading a game real quick. This is so 2000s? You're telling me! Search and rescue, rookie. I don't even know when this time, barely an hour. Shots fired, 247, clean shot, 63. Fire accuracy, blows, close combat accuracy. Hits taken, hits taken by companions, animals hunted. This fucking music, man. Oh my, let's just dive right in. What do codes do? I do not know. You guys are welcome to fucking look them up for me. Yes. Oh my god, listen to that beat. Are you, are you sure you want to confirm with your game? Yes. Oh my god. What are you fighting so that gave you 201 you hits? To the brute that took down Bullseye, is it? Good show. Bloody shame about his guide, Hamisi, isn't it? Still, nice to know he's not your only option. Oh Jason shit, it's Nigel! Australian outback, they say, can track a newt through a monsoon. Aboriginal bloke, name of Wiraki. I don't suppose you speak any of the Aboriginal languages, do you? Well, it's a good thing I do. I'd happily offer my services as translator, but there's one last thing I need to take care of for wilderness rescue. A child went missing not too far from here. It's come down to me to find her, and soon. Two. The Yeti dying in this game causes the demons to take over the lions in 2013. Oh my god. Oh my god. This has inverted controls. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this game controls like ass. <laughs> I can't believe this shit, guys. Oh no. Let's get out of here. <gasps> oh shit. Uh, oh shit! Where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Fuck! Hey, whose idea was it to split up? Oh shit, that music actually scared me. There you are. Yeah, because you can't kill a lion, so we're tranking him. Stay where I can see you, chop. Holy shit. The codes give you weapons and buffs from what I'm seeing? Oh, wow. You're a beehive. Ow! Fucking beehive. <gasps> oh god. Well done. How do I reload?
Oh. Whose idea was it to split up? Hang on. What what is the what is the control for fucking um Okay. Zoom aim, slow motion, task, zoom in, zoom out, previous item, move defend defend pause, look, use, cancel. Ah, reload. Okay, it is square. Got it. Not to judge, but that didn't look like a lion chan. No, no, I'm talking about the um the lions in 2013. This makes me awfully uneasy. Yeah, he found he found some signs of the missing child somewhere of uh, the fucking bag, I think. Now, I remember this part. You can actually see a lion spawn into a boat. Oh god! Wow, this game controls like shit, man. Apparently a cheat cheat code? Okay. We'll try that from the menu in a second. That's a code for Xbox? Damn, we're on PS2. Man, I used to play this game all the time, and I don't remember it looking this shitty. I'm looking up because they have tiger traps here, and tiger traps are up in the air. Find the missing girl. Kind of insidious mind plans a trap like that. Dimitri Benedict is behind it. Mark my head. Fuck! Why are there so many tigers? Reginald, where'd you go? Yeah, so we're trying to track down the fucker Dimitri because he killed our brother. Because the ancient civilization in Cabela's, the overarching story of Cabela's, was that there was an ancient civilization that turned themselves into animals, and then they rebelled against, um, then they rebelled against humanity because they they rejected their humanity so they could turn into animals. Fuck! Oh god! Oh god! This game can't handle the fucking tigers. So you're silencing people right now? Yes. Actually, yes. These used to be part of the ancient people that turned themselves into animals. Thank it. And the greatest of the people turned themselves into, um... Hang on. There we go. Tiger traps. But anyways, as I was saying, so basically the greatest of the ancient ones turned themselves into... What was that? You hear that, chap? That's a human cry. We're getting to... The girl's just up ahead. Let's get moving. Move, Nigel. Look out for traps. There's the girl. Shit, I just stepped over a snake. Ah! Oh my god, now we gotta escort this fucking girl back to her village. Bro's actually having heart attacks from this He's game. He's trying to warn us about something, but I can't for the life of me figure it out. Poor dear, I can't quite understand her, but I know she wants to go home. Let's get her to safety. Oh my! So that's what she's trying to warn us about. This mighty brute is a protected species, so we can't kill him. Of course, we do have every right to defend ourselves if attacked. Here's a thought. 
You take on our angry friend over there, and I'll get this little girl out of harm's way. Okay. Distract the right. Uh. No. Yep, we distracted him. Definitely distracted. Well, oh, I guess he had to go back to his home planet. So that was like a great chief from like the old days. Nigel, where'd you go? Nigel. Nigel. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. The overarching story of Cabela's is nuts, so bro. It's like crazy. Ah, there's Nigel. We've done it! Mission successful. Why'd they want to be animals? Because nature gave them great power, and basically, um, in animal forms, they're way stronger. So basically, in animal form, they can shrug off a lot more damage than an animal would normally take. So, let's say you transformed yourself into a hippo D, or you got to be turned into a hippo. Basically, your power would be so, like, it'd be times like a hundred. So you're like a, a super hippo, essentially. People did it because they wanted to be turned into great animals. So, yeah. Not every animal we see is um, one such creature, though. I want you to meet a mate of mine. Wiraki, best body guide on the planet. We went to Australia. Wiraki, slow down. It's me, your old pal Reginald Dowling. Remember me? Oh, uh, you're talking a little fast for me, chap. Come along then. He says to follow him. Hmm. Well, Wiraki is either inviting us to join some of his tribesmen for a giant delicious crocodile dinner, or he's saying that some of his tribesmen are lost in the outback and about to become a giant crocodile's delicious dinner. You know, chap, you should volunteer to save those tribesmen. Might be a good way to get on Wiraki's good side. <laughs> I love how Nigel's partially bullshitting his way through, but he actually does understand some of the language, so he's like... God, these fucking loading screens are the most Cabela things ever. There'll be slots and pictures. Really? I never touched the codes. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's go see this fucking, um, these codes. Right. Oh my god! Not much info on these games? Dude, I can imagine. All right, what's the first code, D? Hand boot, eye, lightning bolt. All right, got it. Skull. I. Lightning bolts. Yes. Doubles the damage inflicted by player. Hey! Alright. What else do we got?
eye, lightning bolt, skull, hand, boot. Double player's health. Ayo. This one's a little P. Not sure if you want it. Let's do it. I want to tear through this game so we can um so we can actually see the Yeti. So we got a couple of things to do still. Alright, lightning bolt. Hand, eye, boot, skull. Infinite ammo. What else do we got? There's still one more left. There's still one more left. What is it? 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 Skull eye boots lightning hand, got it. Player regenerates real fast. That's it. It's kind of lame. Oh well. Well, let's get going. We have summoned the power of the ancient people without becoming an animal. Therefore, we have become truly ascended. We are. This is Reginald Dowling. Do you read me, chap? Testing, testing. All right, we got a shotgun this time. What cow can take two bullets? What cow can take that many bullets to the head? That's bullshit.
I get it. Get it because it's a bull? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Bulls, man. Fuck. Yeah, shit, gators. Yeah, I ain't going in that water. They only work on new games, then fuck. I don't know, but we can make it. I can make it. It's fine. So there's gators in this water. Alright, gotta be careful. Veer left here, he said. Well, I guess it's not working then, so I guess we're just fucked. Did he say beer left into the fucking thing? Into the water that's filled with crocodiles? Because we're in Australia. Well, Racky tells me there's a pretty big pond you'll have to cross. I hope you Oh, but the crocodile dies in one hit. Maybe the bulls are just that strong. And whatever you do, watch out for that croc. Well, it's dead, so... Okay, maybe it does work. Yeah. Maybe the bulls are just that tough. Okay. Rock cave. Good view and sound of... Ha! Stupid fucking gator. Yeah, I don't want to fucking go in that water. There's alligators in that shit. Oh, aboriginals. Um, uh, writings. Drawings. Things. Whatever. Props to the fucking um, Cabela's, though, for making sure that the shotgun <laughs> reloads one shell when you only fire one shell. God, the mixing in this game is horrendous. Do we have to cross this fucking thing? I can't see the bottom, chat. I don't want to fucking cross this shit. I can't even see any fucking crocs, man. This is bullshit. Alright. Calm yourself. Go for it! Made it! Made it. Wasn't scared for a second. Made it. <laughs> Chan gets mauled by li the alligator's live leak. Oh, hey, it's a stump. Hang on. We only have like 31 but Hey look there's the tribe guy We found him already
escort the tribes in back to the villages. Hey, we found the tribes people. Okay, um back, back. all right. This way, gents, or Alright, let's go. Oh god! Oh god, wrong gun. Reload. Damn, each bull takes four bullets. We don't have very many bulls left in us. You boys good? Oh, they're escaping a brush fire. That's what happened. They're nothing. They're just a collectible. There's something to go around and search for. No, you don't! Shit, he's killing the guys. Ah! He's killing me! Where'd he go? Loser. All right, come on, boys. Wait, not that way. Not that way. All right. Oh, they're running from the brush fire. Okay. My ass just got trampled. Shit. All right, boys, come on. Well, wow, this game runs like shit, man. Shot that dude. There you go. Stop that. Getting swung around like a ping pong ball here. set piece is over. Fuck out! Oh god. This game sucks. Oh, thank God. I didn't have any doubts. Motion blur is insane right now. You're telling me. Congratulations, you've unlocked the bonus level. Bonus level is going to be accessed by loading. 
God dang it. No, I don't want to replay that fucking mission. Oh god, dingo. This is the last thing we need. Oh my god, we're doomed! They gave my ass a, a knife. They gave me a knife. They gave me a fucking knife. Yeah, I guess we have to do this legit then. So we have to keep Nigel from fucking dying from dingoes. Great. Cave in. All right. Dingo. Dingo. Fuck. Jesus Christ! You good, Nigel? Good. Fucking melee hits. Reginald. Thank you. God, fuck it, we need a gun. This is back in the day when they just said, fuck it, you have a knife now in the Australian Outback, deal with it. less damage and that means the code was working Aussies don't need anything but a noise this reminds me a bit of the hedge maze I used to explore as a boy in Wiltshire without the rampaging dingoes of course he's British oh, get away. Horrid creatures. Flying rats is what they are take that dingo down what dingo oh my god <laughs> Oh my god! Well, looks like I'm doing enough damage now. Oh, 
Oh, those are bones. I was like, what the fuck is that? Alright, what we got? More dingoes? Someone needs to make a pixel enhancer for PS2? You're telling me! I mean, it doesn't help that I'm playing this on a TV that is not meant to support, like, PS2 games. You know what I mean? Oh my god! This feels like a fucking Commodore 64 game! Oh my god! Hole. Light. Yeah, we'll go this way. Not that way. Oh yeah, I forget. My compass points the way. Duh. Don't care. Fucking come at me, dingoes. You're so weak, you got turned into dingoes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Puppet combo ah game? I have no idea what that means, but I'm going to assume it means bad. Poor old sod. Looks like we weren't the first souls to get lost in this confounded labyrinth. A radio and a pistol. I'd say our luck is finally turning about. This a gun, finally. Give me the gun. Give me the Got it. We have gun. All right, folks. Been a nice evening, but work in the morning till later. It's Smith and Weston for the win. All right, you have a good night, Shepard. Thanks for sticking around, buddy. Damn, this guy died in a pose. I'm too fabulous to die! Yeah, his legs aren't, though. Ooh, nice reload. Where to from here? Um, hmm. Ugh, Reginald! First of the month? We're not- I'm not in, um, April yet. I got about an hour still. They played the music to let you know there's animals dingo, around. Dingo's down. What dingoes? Oh. Crap. What the fuck? Okay, combat knife is obviously the better choice here. Dingoes can dodge bullets, but they can't dodge knives, apparently. Yay! I saved the day! I'm in April right now? Damn. Six minutes. God damn it. Fucking, do you want to proceed? We're going to continue with the adventure. Shut up. You want to kill Bunting or the fucking. No, I don't! I want to kill Bigfoot! Okay. What a dreary, desolate place. Pumas ahead, lots of them. I can tell by the tracks. 
over, Racky. For heaven's sake, slow down. Slow down. If I was going any slower, I wouldn't be moving at all. All right. Oh, God. Oh, we gotta follow old Racky. Sorry, my alarm clock was fucking keyed in to apparently 11 instead of, you know, 11 p.m. instead of 11 a.m. Whoops. What the? Boom is dead. Yeah, I guess those bulls are just fucking weak, like strong as shit. Come on, let's get this over with. Oh my god. I swear to god, I am going to kill Bigfoot. Pumas aren't protected. Wow, boars. Yeah, now I got it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. you too. There's something I want to try at the start of the next mission real quick. Yeah, but those bulls were OP. They really were, man. Maybe Wool Racky's too far away from me. Fuck it! Did I just quick scope a Puma? Bitch. <laughs> I just quick I just quick scoped a Puma. I think that might be the first time that sentence has ever been said. I just quick scoped a Puma. He wasn't just sitting there, he appeared using the unearthly magics of the ancient civilizations. Remember, these a these people were promised to become great beasts. Little did they know that they'd turn into animals. with fucking pumas and oh shit what the original get taken by a fucking puma or something I didn't see what happened quite the sharp shooter you are there Chan shut that was embarrassing for everyone that saw that
ancient warriors. Alright. I don't see him. Ow! Fuck Pumas. Medkit. Where the fuck is Reginald? Let's get this over with. There you are. Not a second <laughs> Mission successful. Yay. One one step close to killing Bigfoot. with the adventure. I think we now go to Alaska. I hope we now go to Alaska. I think. And now we get to what... We're, we're actually really close to killing Bigfoot now. I'm not even joking. By Jove, we've clearly got a great team together. Now let's get to Siberia and take... Yep, the we're here. We're here. We're here. It's time to kill Bigfoot. It's literally time to kill Bigfoot. Bigfoot's hiding in Siberia. Because they turned the mo the great warlord turned himself into a um there big they are, Mr. Benedict. I guess we are Mr. not as Benedict. far ahead of him as we thought. They could get to the bear before we do. We better get a move on, shouldn't we, boss? Not to worry. That village has been victimized by wild boar attacks. My adversary is tediously consistent. So he'll do what he always does and go after the boars, giving us the head start we need to bring down that monstrous bear. Oh yeah, Hogzilla. It's not like you need the practice, but a sharp shooting refresher couldn't hurt now, could it? Not when you think about what we're soon going up against. Rolling block rifle, breech loading. I fired one of these before. This thing's these awesome. Balls are quicker than they look. Breach loading rifle? Oh yeah, rolling blocks are a high caliber, so they have to be breach loaded, man. These things are awesome. I fired these things on a boar hunt once. They fucking kick like a mule and they use smell of gun smoke. God, I love them. Face like my ex mother in law on that. Wait! He ain't gonna be in rush hour three. Oh, hang on. Got him. Breach loading rifles are great, man. I love these things. A person who has only ever shot a pistol, I have no opinion on this. Dude, get yourself a breach loading rifle, fire that thing, you'll see what I'm talking about, man. Oh, hang on. Um, and. Uh, BAP! BAP! You're dead, son! This is actually a cool mission in the game, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, this is actually a really cool mission. It's really fun to zoom around and just, like, you know, snipe them pigs from up here. Skip cutscene. 
All right, so I think we have like two more missions after this, and we fight Bigfoot. And since these missions are quick, like you know, this will be this will be over soon. Oh shit! There's a bunch of them. I missed. Hang on. Got one. No! No, that poor man! Not good. Save them. Oh dear. We're running dreadfully short on ammo. It's entirely possible I brought the wrong caliber. Not to worry, chap. There's a supply depot nearby. Of course, the problem is getting there, isn't it? You live in Cali? Shit! Checkpoint reached. That one's Hogzilla. You can tell because he has two tusks and he's three times the size. No, 20 times the size of a normal hog. In a past life. You have to go on foot from here. I do confess I vastly preferred facing these balls from the safety of our helicopter. Horrible place to live? It's Siberia. All right, do I have a pistol? Yeah, I got a little Desert Eagle here. All right, good. Just as long as we have a backup. You always, always, always want a high caliber sidearm when dealing with boars and bears. Always. Shit, was there a second boar? Ah, oh, fuck, there's three! There's three boars! Oh, it's not only because they're beefy, it's because um boars can literally shrug off bullets. I've literally I've literally shot a boar, seen it run for a mile, and it was still kicking and still, you know, bang and trying to kill me. It was nuts. I shot that I swear to god I shot him in the head and he kept coming at me, man. It was bullshit. So here they come. Damn! Red, you good? Damn! I've shot that thing three times already! Gotcha, Reggie. Damn. Only on my sidearm now. Ah, we're here, thank God. Rifle ammo. Um, Reggie, I need shotgun ammo. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Look at that hog. Why, it's a hogzilla. That's a real hogzilla. Look at how big that thing is. Look at how big that fucking thing is! It's literally the size of a bear! Reggie, shoot it! Get over, Reggie! That's my brick! Find your own! That's my Victorian era British man. You leave him alone. 
Find your own! Oh shit. I actually have to take it seriously or he might kill Reggie. Reggie is sadly British and has no fight or flight. Bitch! Great shot. Why you want to carry a high caliber sidearm? Look at this fucking thing, it's the size of a bear! There, ate it all. Damn, I was hungry today. Damn, I was hungry. Instantly ate the entire fucking thing. Uh-oh, his children aren't happy. No, Reggie! Oh, shit! There, fuck. Alright, I have two hogs on I have one hog on backup. Where's that fucking helicopter man? We gotta get out of here. There it is, I see it. I see it. Let's go. No! More hogs! Shit! Alright, last hog! Okay, it's leaving. It didn't want to smoke. It just wanted to run. We've defeated the hog tribe. All right, guys. This is it. It's time for Bigfoot. I told you we were killing Bigfoot. Look, kids. If I says we's gonna kill Bigfoot, we's gonna kill Bigfoot. And it's gonna die right here. I just made an X on, my, on top of my PS2. Yep, it's already time for Bigfoot. I was already that, that, that Reg, you meet Reginald halfway through the game. Yes, that was half of the game we just blew through. This this is a very short game. It's a Cabela's game. This isn't a very very long game, but yeah, it feels like longer when you're a kid. Oh. And they're dead. Damn, I think we might have to do another hog rail mission. Hey, helicopter, if you could hurry up, that'd be great. Damn, still no hogs. There's a man, which means hogs. Nailed it. 
All right, he's safe. Let's move on. I like how we're using the villagers as bait. We're literally using the villagers as bait. Skip the cutscene. I don't care. I want to kill Bigfoot. I missed. Oh, I didn't. Got him! Damn, these villagers are brave using themselves as bait. I missed. I like how they hear the gunshot from the helicopter and the pig doesn't fall down. They're like, oh god. There. All the wild boars in Siberia are dead. Now it's time to kill Bigfoot. 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 That's not Bigfoot. That's not Bigfoot at all. That's a polar bear. A Siberian polar bear. I bet you didn't know that there was polar bears in Siberia. We will kill Bigfoot, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, the, Bigfoot's the final boss. Trust me. You do this mission. Come all right. Yep. All right. Give me my rifle. It's a rifle or a shotgun. I don't know. It, it's a rifle, I think. All right. Let's do this. Wolves! Siberian Huskies! Oh, shit! Oh, shotgun. Oh, God, that was a sound I never thought I'd hear again. Also, we have stick. I killed I killed Bigfoot with a stick once. Polar bear. He was on his legs. Sit down, bitch. Oh no, man is too strong for me. I don't know what, whatever will I do. I meant to say Siberian wolves. Did I say huskies? <laughs> alright, alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wanna kill Bigfoot. I wanna kill Bigfoot before it's my before my birthday's out. Oh shit. I'm sorry, chaps. He nailed me. Oh, clawed the dickens out of me, right in the belly. I'll be okay if I get some medical attention. Take care and be careful. So Nigel's gonna limp back to the village. You gotta leave with leave without him. And now you have to go on with Roraki. Roraki, come on. Leave Nigel. He'll be fine. He's a Victorian era Brit. There's not many of them left, but they they built him Tonka tough. You hear me? Will you hear me, Reggie? We're doing this for you. This is most peculiar. More strange tracks. A type of track I've never seen before. I am not sure it's a bear we're tracking, or at least not just a boar. Blast it all. You don't understand a word I'm saying, do you? Fuck. Mm -hmm. 
One Mountain Dew and he's done for? Exactly. One Mountain Dew and he will die on the spot. Ah yes, the ice part. I remember this. Pistol ammo. And uh stop. You can actually fall through the ice if you go too far the I forgot about this. Yeah, you can crouch. Fuck! Oh shit. The boar tribe is back! They're mad that I killed their general! They're like, give us back our general! You bastard! You took him from us. Now why are they attacking humans? Well, the Boar Tribe, this used to be their land. Sword. Also, I know it sounds like I'm taking the piss. I'm not actually taking the piss. Because of the events that happened in 2013, this game retroactively has the same spirit animal bullshit. Because the ancient race became black lions in that game in 2013. So in this game, because there's a legendary animal in this game, it's implied that all of these animals are also of the ancient race. Like, I know it sounds crazy, but that's literally what happens in fucking Dangerous Hunts 2013. You find out that the ancient boss animals were people from the ancient race, and they turn into boss animals that were controlled normal animals. There's the Baboon King, there's the Leopard King, there's the Bla Black Lion King, there's the Rhino King in that game. You know what I mean? And there's also the bu the Buffalo King in that game as well. And you have to kill all of them or else Africa will not return to peace. It's nuts. And because you kill a um, Hogzilla and a Yeti in this game, that means that the same lore is here. Didn't think there'd be much lore for hunting games. Yeah, me neither, dude. And it was all retroactively added, which is nuts because it still works. No, not Wuraki! Not Wuraki, he was my cool Aborigian Bushman! I'm sorry, my friend. You saved my life, protect me from that mighty beast. You are on your own. Godspeed, safe journey, and good luck. You must proceed without Wilraki. We are alone now. It is us versus the beast, and checkpoint reached. Now then, the Great Bear, the lord of these lands, or that is what they'd have you believe. We're actually gonna beat this before um, April. I can't You're believe this. Us. You're coming with us to watch me. In it's my the poachers. The bear cave is up ahead, and I plan on blowing that monster to kingdom come. Oh, surely you think that's cowardly and unsportsmanlike. But, 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 but you've but, always but, been but, foolishly preoccupied with fair. But, 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 but. Whatever gets the job. Look how big that fucking bear is. Do you mind? I am trying to... I'm trying to... Bear! Oh. Now then. We are the lords of this land. You make jokes, but that's literally the lore of these games. Since, since 2013... Okay, here's the Lord Bear. He's the... He's the Big Grim. Oh shit, that's right. You don't you don't have your guns for this. You have to actually find your guns. Ow! You actually have to find guns or else you can't beat him. Stick!
gun. I need a gun. Yes. Right. Fuck! Bear trap! This fucking poacher! Holy shit, you knocked a tree down. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No! Give me enough time to reload. We are the gods of this land, man! You will die! No. You will perish! This is our world! Not yours! Not anymore! This is our world, not yours. We evolved. You took the easy way out. Oh my! You Holy shit, it's Egg! Nice work, my friend. Hey, Ed, way to join in. We're about to kill Bigfoot. Thanks for the happy uh, birthday uh, wishes, friend. He says, great work, sport. Jolly good show. Uh, at least I think that's what he says. It's Bigfoot. By God, it's the Yeti. What are you doing, man? Taking on the Yeti single-handedly? Are you mad? It's Bigfoot. Jolly good show, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> it's time for Bigfoot. <laughs> oh god, you think you thought I was joking. No, the final boss is literally Bigfoot. And we have 12 minutes to beat him. Shit, Yeti! We're the gods of this world! Not oh fuck! Oh god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit, it's Yeti! The bear was harder? Yeah, because the bear can actually like chase you down and shit. I'm out! We're gonna have to do the traditional way! Fuck you, Yeti! Fuck you, Yeti! Oh shit, we actually need a first aid kit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not first aid kit! Shit, I actually need a first aid kit. We're gonna die. Oh fuck. There, there's one. Damn. It's time. Oh, God, oh, God, motherfucker. We did it. 
Yes! We did it! I killed the Yeti with a stick! <laughs> Close quarters accuracy. Half of all my shots hit. I hit all my shots with a stick, basically. Eight minutes. So, I will say this. This game is overly silly, but it does have an ending I'm very fond of. And this is the reason why, why, why I wanted to play this. You said it, Wadraki. No doubt this is the bloody beast that brought down your friend, Bullseye Bill. Nice work. To be honest, I wasn't sure if even you were going to get out of this one. That's charming, exactly. I could use a nice long vacation after this. From the looks of things, you could too. Dowling here? Yes? Uh-huh. Oh dear. I see. Okay. That was a contact at Wilderness Rescue. It seems a party of biologists were attacked in the Amazon by a monstrous anaconda. An unkillable anaconda. Looks like our vacation will have to wait. <laughs> well, Racky gives you a little thumbs up like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, this game's very short, but it is charming indeed. Well, that was my birthday stream for the year 2024. Wow, what a game series. All right. Holy shit. Hey, don't worry about it, Egg. There's a whole nother year of streams up ahead of us. You know what I mean? Whoops. There we go. Ah, Mac tonight. Still sitting at 500 subs. Awesome. If we're sitting by 500 subs by the time I start streaming tomorrow, we will definitely open up the Discord. Without a doubt. Easy. All right. Ah, oh, I was trying to be here. Hey, Egg, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 80 views is a hella good. Ugh. Oh, I'm tired though. That was a six hour stream and I went to that breaking studio and broke some shit. Hey, thank you guys for coming and enjoying the show. I had a lot of fun tonight on this stream. Might have been a little iffy at points, but you know, we still we still made our own fun and had the greatest of great times. As always, I will see you all on the next adventure. So, good night and goodbye. Tomorrow's another stream and... Well, I don't quite know what we'll be streaming tomorrow, but we'll sure as... Oh, I know! I know, I know, I know! Okay, here, here, here. I'll tell you guys a secret. All right. Tomorrow's stream is going to be... Get this. Where it's gonna... I'm, I want to do a video. It's a challenge run, of so to speak. You know what I mean? Can you beat Fallout 4 as Heavy Weapons Guy from TF2? So we're going to go on to Fallout 4, we're going to make a Russian man, and we're going to go through the entire game with a Gatling gun, a shotgun, and fists. And we are going to roleplay as heavy weapons guys, so... <laughs> yes, alright. But besides that... Um, yes, yes. Okay, so that's a little secret for what's happening tomorrow night, but regardless, I'll see you all in the next adventure, so good night and goodbye.